I don't think Canada's gonna like me very much and I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm gonna be a monster because villainy is always more interesting than virtue. <laughs> I'm Kevin, I'm 28, I'm from Toronto, obviously, and I'm a sales engineer. <laughs> I am not a humble person. I have a pretty high IQ. I I'm gonna be the smartest house guest. And if you can't tell, I'm pretty charismatic. <laughs> I'm gonna win this game by being a villain, by lying to people, by pitting them against each other. <laughs> I can't wait to send home everybody that Canada loves. It's night one, Herman is HOH, Moose has safety, Josh has safety, Jay got safety from the phone call. Okay, BB can 10, I guess let's do it, let's play. Your best bet right now is to kind of target people that aren't really talking to yeah. other people like this yet. So Helena, Kevin, Jess, and Mel. Hi. You okay? Yeah, I just like talking to myself. It's the only way I can get it out. Please sit. It's just like, like I can have a conversation with you. This is fine. This is comfortable. Other people, I'm like, I don't really care about what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, am I just this person that just doesn't enjoy like the energy of other people? You know what I mean? No, it's just dividing the right people. I told you, big groups, like, my my personality just, just craters. I'm just like pure vanilla ice cream in a large group. Mm. It's mentally taxing. Mm. I am really not this vanilla person. Right now, because I'm smart, I'm playing up that niceness. I'm being very spacey because I have to. Be laughing if I take that veto, that's for sure. You throw Kevin up there, I think he will literally, I think he will literally feel no ways. Mm. Everyone that's available is available. I'm struggling with who to put up as a replacement nom. It's gotta be someone that's gonna take it in stride, isn't really gaming too much, and won't really upset the house at all. Herman, since I have just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will have to name a replacement nominee. Okay, this decision was not easy, uh, but it is strictly game. It's nothing personal, so I hope you understand. My replacement nominee is Kevin. Kevin is absolutely my best shot to salvage my HOH week because Kevin's really a non-gamer, a great guy. You know, Kev's not really a threat to me or my game. I'm hoping that Melina still goes home this week, and if I have two nominees here next week with me, then I'm in big trouble. Most people would get put on the block and be completely freaking out. Sure, I'm nervous, I'm terrified, but I'm not gonna show that off the bat. I'm going to adapt, I'm going to give it my all, and if I am getting sent home, I'm gonna have fun campaigning and doing my thing. It is not over, let's rock. Woo! Only three people will ever know what it's like to be on the block in the first week. It really sucks. Yeah. I'm feeling super insecure. And I, and I, I hate it. and I hate that now we can't like really talk about it because I it's know. like Well we can. I'm like I'm not I will not use anything that you say here against you. Like I, I just I like I honestly like I don't know if I'm giving you ammo here, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay. You know I mean? But I, I'm a hundred percent sure that Moose and her Herman is like a thing. And then you have Kyle, who is like no problem gonna be in. You know, and obviously Ramon is gonna go to a Gino because of the physical ability. You know what I mean? That's an easy plus. And then you have Steph and uh, Jace. And those girls have automatically in. Melina thinks she can trust me and she's just dead wrong. That's a whole crew right there. And that whole crew, no matter if it's Alliance or not, is going to vote the same. Information is currency in this game. And I think I might have just hit the jackpot. It's, it's major gameplay. Over the next 24 hours, I'm going to work. I will do what it takes to stay. Do you know, Melina, do you know what she's campaigning on? No. She goes. Ramon and Moose are for sure working together. <laughs> what? Melina and Ramon are up and went through the entire house and ripped on 
everyone, including you. You and Melina spoke outside. She thinks you're working together. I'm willing to scratch and claw and do whatever I need to save myself. Even if you vote to evict me, you are one of my favorite people I've here. Oh my gosh, like stop it, my heart. It's not that serious. I would campaign against my own mother. I'm having a really hard time because I really genuinely like the both of you. Like me and Kevin spend a pretty decent amount of time together. But what about game? What do you think about Kevin with game? It sounds it sounds kind of bad to say. It almost feels like he he's not much of a threat in a sense because he doesn't seem to really know much about unless it's a unless it's a, I know an act. And I've said that to him too. I said, wait a second, you're f-ing with me. This whole f-ing you're doing that, an act. That's what I'm saying. I can't figure it out. Neither can I. This decision is so stressful. I think Molina is being a hundred, whereas Kevin, I think that he's playing this like kind of like I'm dumb, like I don't really know what's going on, but like he's mad smart behind that act. He might be a, a, like a he, master, I master genius. Literally, what I think. I'm like sometimes I lo- I watch him walk away, and I'm like, is this real? Yeah, I know. Do I trust you? Do I not? Right. Because we're on the block. I've been chatting with him, and I'm like, this is what this is. Is that what I think this is? And then I'm like, whoa, hold up, you could be totally using that on me. Yeah. Kevin, it's your turn. You have 30 seconds. House guests, I am completely out of my comfort zone. I'm <laughs> I'm not even on my comfort planet, but I hope I've shown over the last few days that I'm willing and open to learn, grow, and adapt to help some of you. So if you think I can help your game, vote for me to stay, and I'll go beyond the furthest stars of my very small comfort zone to make it happen. 13 of you voted. One house guest received 11 votes, and as a result, is about to be evicted. That house guest is Melina. You have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Please get your things and say your goodbyes. Melina just walked out the door. I have a huge sigh of relief. They kept me. I'm here. I'm not the first one out. I'm taking it all in. I'm processing, and then Arissa says, there's a big twist. Turns out that the nominee who survives the block will have a choice of three doors. Behind one of them was $5,000. That's a lot of money. Come on, on. (laughs) Money, money, money. Just feel it. Feel the energy. Let's go! I open this door, I find $500. It's not $5,000, but it's still better than zero. How cool is that twist? I like the mystery doors. Anything could be behind these doors. Cash, safety, a veto. All of a sudden, being a pawn is not so bad. I made 500 bucks. You just made 500 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Kevin is out. I'm exhausted. It's been one of the most hectic days I've ever had, and I hope Jess takes it. Jess, at this point, has kind of won me over. If Jess wins, I could slide by one more week. Marty is someone who has tried to open things up with me a few times, but initially I got bad vibes. However, he just won HOH, so I'm about to take my cold shoulder and make it a warm one. I talk to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Half the people think I'm way smarter than I am. Yeah. And half the people think I'm way dumber than I am. I think some people think I'm like an evil genius. Because based on the way I look. I, I kind of think you're doing it with your speech where you're pretty. Uh... Well, that's the thing. <laughs> You're a smart guy. Like, just by the way you talk, I can see it. I made it through eviction night, but I'm clearly a big target here. And so I'm happy to share some names that weren't mine of people who we could possibly target together. Jay is the mastermind. He's a social guy, and he's a walker. Jay terrifies me. Yeah, me too. The girls scare me. Jay's England and, and mm-hmm. Stiff. She didn't want to get one. I got freaking offered her like. 25 times, like, oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. She didn't want to get up, get out. There's a reason for that, because she was scared of me. And if, if she was scared of me, it's because there's a good chance that if she would have won, she would have beat me, put me up, right? I probably wouldn't put up the two girls. We're good. Those two are always together. Good? Yeah. What's up? I just want to see where your head's at. 
I feel like we've never had to talk really game before with each other, so now's a good chance to start, right? Yeah, where's your head at? Like, I'm obviously rooting, but... Mm -hmm. you know, Thank you. Her, but Thanks, guys. If, if there's another nomination, like, it's so easy to put me on. Yeah. If JC Lynn or Jay win the veto, I am an obvious renom candidate for Marty. In the house, I'm playing the sad, boring, vanilla person. Marty is not going to ruffle any feathers by putting me on the block. I don't like it, but I don't have a ton of agency in this game right now. At some point, the facade is gonna come down, just not this week. Everyone's very, like, fast for me. I know. I'm just, like, getting to know people. I know. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just hard to think about sometimes. What's up? No, it's just it's nice to, to somebody to talk to. Yeah. You know. Of course. I want to give you a hug, but if I have that idea. You can have a hug. You can hug it out. I'm not a huge hugger. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> That's weird. We, we don't need to do that. I want to want a hug, but I'm just not. A, I'm not a hugger. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you again later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the chat, Kev. Thank you. I mean, it could have gone better, that's for sure. Who's going to use the veto? I think it's me if that happens. I think you need to get ready to be a bench warmer, which sucks. I don't want to see you packing every week. I was one of the two votes to get rid of Kevin last week, but that was actually a ploy so that the house doesn't know that him and I have something going on. We are working together because we love this game, we know this game, and we're playing up the role of social outcast because that's kind of what we are, both inside and outside the house. I'm, I'm way better socially than I am oh. pretending to be. I'm no I know you know that. I can just keep playing sad and bad and, and lonely. Like, just keep pumping that up. It's obviously not what you are. You're clearly very smart and clearly very awesome, but like, you're playing that role great. Also, yes. Same thing here. Do I fit in anywhere? I'm always the alien with a bunch of humans. But I'm happy to, like, people still want to climb aboard my spaceship sometimes. So I don't want us to, like, let down the rooms of, like, some tension. Pretend tension here. Don't get me wrong. You annoy me. Of course I do. Won me over by being just relentless. Yeah. Uh, we don't we don't need to talk much. Like No. That's the plan. I also don't want you lingering in here long. But yeah, like this is unspoken. And also like the quicker it is the better. Do you want me to exit or do you want okay. you're like oof, just yeah. Check in later. Bye. That kid's money. Marty still scares the out of me. I don't know what it is. Who? Marty. You think? Yeah. He, wouldn't, he wouldn't put you up. I don't. No, I heard Kevin. No, I heard I'm Kevin. Kevin. Marty wants Jake on, so he's going to put him yeah. Which makes me feel bad, but it's true. Everyone will keep Kevin over Jay. What's up? Yeah, I mean, it's high stress, you know? I like going to walk. Come on. <clears throat> I'd be devastated. If you went up again? If I went home. I feel pretty good right now with Marty, so I'm feeling pretty safe. But Kevin, unfortunately, seems to be like the pawn shop right now. He needs to up his game. This week, do you think you did the best job that you could? I'm not I'm not doing as well as, as I could have, but I'm doing better than I was. And that's good. But I think for your own personal game, you need to step it up. But nobody wants to be the pawn shop, man. Because eventually, you freaking it's a ticking time bomb, and then the pawn shop goes home. I think you should talk to Marty and see if there's anyone else he'll put up. I'm like, aren't there other options at this point? Like, Yeah, Betty, there are definitely other options, like maybe you. Like, obviously, I don't want to be a replacement, Nom, um, obviously. I don't want you to either. Oh my god, that would not be good. I think that right now, the most important thing is help yourself. It's going to be the best comeback ever. Betty and Kevin come back. You see this, Canada? It's called the BK Comeback. Let's get it. <laughs> idea and a logger. Would you prefer a logger? Let's or do ID? this one. This oh, one's wow. 4.8, this one's 4.5. 
Just enjoy your BB house. There's there's lots going on. You're, you're the guy who's got ears everywhere. I don't know if I do. Marty doesn't want to be told what to do, so all I want to do is get him talking, get him thinking about things, leading him to the choice that's best for his game, but mostly better for me. We see the game the same way. This is why we need to go far together. You should only ever be doing what's good for you, not what's good for anybody yeah. else. I'm going to make sure that we got numbers if we don't. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to switch it up. I am planning to put up Kevin as a pawn, but if I have one ounce of a doubt, that Jay is gathering the number to stay. I'm gonna flip things up, take a number away from them. So Jay is heading home this week. I'm not taking any chances. Marty, have you opened the door for me? I'm actually just going to slither through. Okay, so let me, let me break it down for you, what I think is going on. Okay. So Summer and Tanisha are with everybody. They're waiting for the right time to flip the house. Like maybe it's this week, maybe it's not. Betty and Josh have some. And I think there's like something brewing there between that group. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'll tell you, like, I would put up Betty. Betty? Because I think Betty would be like one that could swing towards Jay. Let me just say that if I have a tiny ounce of doubt, I'll do that. I want to make sure that my target goes home this week. I got a couple of options on my plate still. But whatever I do, I guarantee you one thing it's going to be my decision. Marty, we're going to have fun. Yeah. And I hope that no promises. Hope to see us both in the top five. Yeah, I hope to. Since I have just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will need to name a replacement nominee. So I made it clear this week to the other house guests that my target this week was Jay. Right now, I'm hearing that there's a big push to try to save them. So in order to potentially take a number away from this group, I'm sorry, but Betty, I'm going to have to put you up. I went from being told that I'm going on the block to me just chilling for a few days. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. She's like, I bet Kevin knew. He's slimy like that. Kevin probably did know. Yeah, of course he knew. Marty and Kevin had a beer last night, and I feel like there was some shady behavior going on. <laughs> Week two, and I'm in a pretty solid place. I'm no one's target. Most people still think they can control me, and I'm making them laugh. I need to stay on my toes, I need to be aware, and I need to look around at who's looking at me. I'm not gonna press. I don't want you to talk to me. Like, I think you're a bad person. This is not even game related. You're playing this game like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I need pointers. And you're using that information against really good people with big hearts. And I see right through you. So that's fine, I'll go to the washroom. Let me do my thing, okay? Have a good life, bye-bye. I'm gonna, this is the last thing I'll say? I don't wanna hear a thing that comes out of your mouth. Do you get that? Thank you. Okay. And have when a great day. I, I will never be ready to talk. Thanks. Give me the lowdown. What is up? I was trying to get in with Benny. <laughs> I, I did the exact opposite. <laughs> so, all I have to say to you is just give it time. Just give it time. Just get through the week. Keep in mind, everyone was under the impression that you were going to be the one to be up. So, obviously, if you're having some big, big chat with the HOH of the house drinking beers, of course, she's going to think that you conspired against her. So you need to take your time with the gal. OK, well, I left the room thinking I was going out. Oh, so he's a schemer. But I can't believe that's the reason why you're mad. I'm not mad. I'm sad. You're sad? Yeah. Why? So bad. Well, if you're sad, let's take it to church. Is that a move? Is that a move? Take Kevin is sad. 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 <laughs> Come on. Move? Take your turn. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey,
Sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm off. I feel like causing a ruckus. I was ready for bed, but now I am not. Okay, okay, here we go. Who's hungry? I'm taking Kev to Wendy's because this guy is the best listener I've seen in this house. He's kept to himself, but people, like, trust him. They don't see him as a threat. He is a wealth of game knowledge because people let things slip around Kevin. And I'm trying to continue to build our both personal and game relationship. I need to get a spicy chicken sandwich. So there you go. Hey, hey! Who's hungry? I am so hungry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Who'd you get? I got, it was John. It was John Party from season two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how'd this morning go? I'm in an interesting place because I've been really close with Moose and Vermont. Yeah. And Vermont was in a fake alliance <laughs> with Gino, myself, Vermont, and the two girls. What was the name on that? On the five person? What was the name? Oh, yeah. yeah. The retreat. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Uh, not because we were sitting pretty. Kyle is giving me his entire game. I'm just chilling, eating my Frosty, and Kyle's giving me all this information that might freeze his game over later. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. Welcome to the show, my friend. Right. <laughs> Best Wendy's date of all time. <laughs> you want to come for a walk? Mm -hmm. Who's out here? What's happening? Jess and I are working together undercover. Jess wants to keep Josh. I'm back and forth. I like Josh way better than I like Steph, but that doesn't mean that keeping him is best for my game right now. I've spoken all, you know. She's ready to do this. She's like, why are we letting Kyle do this? I don't even care. This is just fun. <laughs> I don't want Josh here. I don't want Josh. I want Josh. I need to talk to Lena. I need to talk to Marty. This is the plan. Kevin, I need to ask you something. Listen, I'm going to be straight up with you. Did yeah. you know about this? Because yesterday you were acting funny. Up until this point in the game, I've been pretending to be a very vanilla person and playing in the middle. With Josh on the block, it might just be time for me to pick sides, but I can't blow my cover just yet. Here's the thing. I'm not going to tell you if I knew about it, but wow, I, I, will say, that's shady. I will say this, Betty. Yeah. I know how much you love Josh. Yeah. You know, I need you to keep lashing out at me. I need you to keep it coming my way, OK? Because maybe I am what you think I am, but I swear. You want best interests in mind, but I need you to, I need you to think that you hate me. I do hate you. Now everything's making sense, and you're spending time with both groups. You need to know that there is a line drawn in the sand, and now you look shady. And I'm just letting you know that, and everybody else in this house is going to know that, too. That I'm coming for you. You're coming for me. If that's the case. You're telling me right to my face that you're coming for me? If if you're coming for me. You're telling me that you're coming for me right terrible? now? This is what you're telling me? All I did was ask a question that you clearly knew the answer to, and now you're coming for me? That's very interesting. You told me I was a terrible person. Yeah, and I meant that because look what you're doing. What am I doing? You literally told me that I need to continue to be rude to you in order for me to protect my game. It's like last time I checked, no one tells me what the hell to do, okay? Thanks for drawing the line in the sand. I appreciate that. Hi, Kev. Hi, Jace. What's up? What's happening, love? Not much. Just hanging out. Kind of want to just lay down. Yeah, it's nice. I'm pretty excited to have some butter chicken for lunch. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go get some butter chicken. <laughs> He's interesting. He's so funny. It's funny. He's such a weirdo. I've noticed that Marty is feeling really hurt that Kyle and Gino have excluded him from the big HOH decisions this week. And Marty needs to know where he's voting this week. 
trust those guys. But I don't trust them like to take me to final two. Like, I can tell you that. I can tell you like with Carl and Gene, which for me is my two yeah. right or die. Yeah. I, I, I feel comfortable with them, but I, I told you yesterday how I was feeling. I wasn't feeling great about it. I'm starting to lose trust. Carl and uh, Gene want the final two that I know that. Yeah, look, I want you to think about something. Canada obviously loves you. I want you to think about reasons why Canada would save you. Why would they think that you're in danger week three? I feel like there might be people out to get you. I know what you mean. I feel it too. But would you see them like turning like now? Oh, Canada, look, no. if they think you're hunting, safe they're not voting to save you yeah. if they think that there are people out to get you and they love you then they're voting to save you so you should think about that kevin brings me a lot of information he's got, he's got a lot of theories uh so yes sometime he'll make me second guess what i'm thinking I what's up we're just running through numbers yeah and i think we have seven now me you marty well i don't vote sorry sorry me you Marketing me. Yeah. <laughs> me. Gino, uh, Kevin. Armand, Kevin, Jace, Jason, Helena, 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 and Jess. Amazing. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. Continue to have the conversations, and we are sitting very well. Yeah. Yep. All right, I'm going to head back in. Yeah, My yeah. Feet are getting a little cold yeah, here. Yeah. Maybe I'm paranoid. I still think something's going on that me and you don't know about. They're just playing us? I don't know. To be honest, like, as much as I'm scared of Josh, yeah. I, I still felt a connection with him that I think I could have worked with him. Is he playing me or he seems so sincere? I think he's sincere. Part of me thinks that Gino and Kyle see you as a stupid old man and me as a nerdy guy they can manipulate, and that's what scares me. But, like, I, like I, I'm really considering it at this point to try to flip it so he stays and work with him and still decide. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Marty is in. He sees that Gino and Kyle have been completely playing us, and it's time to take the power back. I'll say this. If that's something that you want to do, I'm not afraid. Because I think right now, me and you are being played and set up. This is putting all my trust in Josh, and I'm I'm not sure if I can do that. But Kyle do it now. You, you came up with the alliance with the three of them. The yeah, three of them. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't. The, only the only thing I can tell you... The 23-year-old kid is playing us. Yeah. yeah. If you vote to evict Steph, who we know is coming for us... They're gonna say, who flips? You say you voted to evict Josh. I'm gonna have to raise my hand and say that. You wanna do that? Let's talk a little bit later, just for now, right? The alliance that thought that they were manipulating everyone is so confused. The air in the house has changed. Chaos is rising, and I absolutely love it. I don't have a great game relationship with Gino, but I ain't showing up to the HOH room in sweatpants. This is potentially the $100,000 negotiation. Of course I'm going to put on a suit and tie. If I can make him laugh and reach that emotional part of his brain, then I might be able to keep myself off the block. Hello, Andrew Gross. How's it going? Get in there. Gina and Gina LLP. <laughs> Gina and Gina LLP, dial 1-800, stay off the block, and make them laugh while you're at it. So uh, explain me this contract right here. Yeah, so so looking at the contract, there are a couple things that Kevin wanted me to relate mm -hmm. to you. What Kevin mentioned was that the only people that you can trust are Jason and Kyle. Mm -hmm. And everyone else is a pathological liar. Mm -hmm. And Kevin told me that because he wants you to be happy. Now I got three questions for you. It's Kev or Andrew? Who am I talking to? You're talking to Kev right now. Okay, Kev. Who don't you want to see go home this week? I don't want to see Summer or Tanisha go home. Um, I'm very confused about Jess. I will never take the shot myself. 
I can't. Yeah. But like at some point, I need Jess to leave. Next question. Sun or winter destination? Winter. Ooh, I was about to give you a point for that. Case. I'm being real with you. I love Aruba, but listen, I've been oh, you, you one... gave your answer. If you put me up because I like winter vacations, that's hilarious. <laughs> Gino knows that I'm smart, but I think I'm making him laugh, and he's having a good time. I think I might be safe this week. Pleasure. Have yourself a good day. You too. Do you happen to have representation? And I'm not saying it, it should be in your desk. Um, I, I gotta go, Andrew. Okay, hey, Kev, take it easy, okay? Let's uh, discuss after. I got some business to take care of. I'm Andrew. What up, Hi, buddy? How you doing? I'm okay. I'm missing home today, as always. Yeah. What kind of day are you having? Just trying to keep learning in here. Learning about what? People. Me. Man, Kevin's growing on me. <laughs> Our relationship, I would say, was a little rocky in the beginning, but I find him just a nice person. He's really got a big heart, and I'm here for it. Someone said today you're going to be a great father. It's really nice. Isn't that, was, that uh, really nice? That is, that is, that like, is like the highest praise. I was like, and it was actually Marty. He's like, really? He's like, yeah. I bet Kevin's going to be the best dad. It's going to be great to see. Isn't that cute? Yeah. You have little rugrats running around, and you can do improv and make them eggs in the morning. Are you okay? Yeah, you just made me cry. I'm good. I know. I thought it was so cute. Yeah, it's nice. It's I nice. know. You're close to your dad, right? My dad's the best person in the whole entire world, and I miss him every single day. I never moved out until I was 26 years old. I moved back, actually, when my dad got sick, till for eight months I lived at home. And, and you say you're doing better, right? Yeah. It's tough to think about. I'm sorry. I feel emotional now. But anyway, let's talk about the I'm game. Like you that heavy stuff. I like know, it's normal, I know. You know? you know, who's he going to put up? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking out for you. I need to run out. Yeah, I'm not giving up. But like I see, like, what can I tell him at this point? No, Please right. don't put me up. Last week, I convinced Marty to flip and vote to evict Steph. Now, he is freaking out. Marty, I need you to relax. You, know, you don't have to worry. Like, I'm, I'm not, like, like I said, I did enough like stuff so far in this game. I'm not looking to throw anybody else in there. Your heart is way too big for this game, but it's just a game. You're allowed to lie, and you need to realize that. I'm not worried about me, Marty. I worry about you. Your, heart, your heart's too big. How are you? Fine. How are you? Good. All right. This is the hard part about Kyle being up. He's gonna lie so much when he can't be. I know. That's the only problem for me. Jess said this, Jess said that. Like, he could blow my game up. Does he have info on you? No. <laughs> Why? Why can't I talk to you? I'm on the block. Yeah, but there's somebody have, I just, they hang out outside. Where should we talk? Move a bed over. Sure. Kevin and I have been working together secretly since day one, and I feel like I've put a lot of investment into him, and sometimes I don't feel like that's reciprocated. So I really hope that he is being honest and that he truly is in my corner. Do you not want to be in a room long still? No, I'm actually fine talking to you. I feel like we need to start talking. People are starting to think it's a ruse. It's not that I don't trust you, it's just like, you know. It's like you don't trust me. There's a rare time. I can be sketchy sometimes. I do trust you, though. I I have to trust you. Yeah. I put so many marbles in your basket, Kev, I've tried to prove that to you. How about proved it to you, too? Yes. Hello. Excuse me, sir, but do you like spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> the eye roll. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get oh, to work. God. Get to work? Oh, oh, my God. God. oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, oh, my God. God. oh wow! Oh, that looks.
look back with everything. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Kevin and the Spaghetti is literally pure performance art. It is the funniest thing I have seen with my own two eyes. I am just dying at this. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh my God. <laughs> Being on Slop has been absolutely tragic. And now tomato sauce is wafting through the house. I am starving. I would do anything for one noodle at this point. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm Jess's number one. Jess is not my number one, but this week I'm certainly pretending and I'm going to be up there in the HOH room pulling the strings. Before we get into it, I have a question for you. Yeah. How can I be of the most help to you this week? Like, what do you need from me? Tell me. We need to talk more often. This is like the only time to do it. Okay, let's do it frequently then. We're totally expendable to have tons of people. We are. I also feel like, why aren't people celebrating or happy for me? Do you want my analysis? Please. With everything? Marty's ecstatic. I'm really not going to target Marty. I don't know what Betty's deal is. She's such a real one. But then there are these like emotional outbursts that I experience with her all the time. Yeah, she told me I was a terrible person, and now we're good friends. Summer is throwing everything on control. She might be playing the best game right now. I feel better with her than with Tunisia. Oh, yeah. She's like this with her mom, even if she doesn't want to admit it. Interesting. This moment is something I've been waiting for. As a huge fan of this show, I want to dissect the dynamics of this game, and Kevin is the person who I can do that with, and this moment is so refreshing. I think people will push for Marty. I think people will push for Gino to go. I could put up Gino and her mom. Because they've both nominated me. I do think Gino and Jason are on an island. If Gino and Jason truly are on an island and he's not with you, and her mom, like, do we want to try and, like, build an alliance? This is the perfect opportunity for Jess to bring the showmans in close and actually build something where they can go after the people who see Jess as dispensable. If you work hard, you can build something. I'm open to the idea of Kevin and I working with Jace and Gino. They are a power duo, and I think they're very capable of winning competitions. I don't think we need to dive right into an alliance, but we definitely need to start wading in those waters. Part of why I wanted to win HOH this week was because it was just so simple. It was an her mom. These are two people. That's where I'm coming from. That's where I'm coming from, Jess. I think it's not simple. Yeah, I'll think on it. Or if at any point uh, you feel like I'm not supporting you, I'm not being a good partner in this this week, like, let me know. Like, it's going to be a long week because nothing's ever simple here. I'm going to say this to you now. I, was, I felt, you know, a little panicked and just frustrated by the whole thing and just was really poking at me and they asked of who I would put up this week and I totally said your name. I have to do some damage control right now. Betty and Kevin are absolutely not people that I want to target at all. And those are people that I wanted to offer up to Jess in order to just get them out of my face. I very much was panicked when I did say that right now. And, you know, earlier in the day, like, I was just trying to, like, put people out there. And, like, I was thinking about people that hadn't played in anything. And, like, I genuinely was just very much trying to fight for my life and scared. Okay. <laughs> but I just wanted to tell you that before, you know, Jess probably comes in your ear and says, by the way, Moose said this, 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 this. Okay. Because it is true. I did say that. That's okay. So, so you wouldn't have, you wouldn't want me to go up? No, I didn't. Well, dude, I obviously would have wanted, no, I would have wanted to put up Jess. I'm not upset. Thank you for telling me. Yeah. I, I take your word for it. Thank you. I think Kevin and I are cool, so now it's time for me to hustle and find Betty before Jess gets to her. OK. Let's go back there and party. Yeah. Cool. OK. But amongst all of these relationships, Kevin has finally shown me that I am his number one and definitely is down to ride. Gino and Jay's are back at all. Yeah. Two votes. Marty will vote however I want. You will vote. Helena. There are nine votes? Yes. Amazing. I do feel like Moose's unpredictability is predictable. Yes. He wears his emotions on his cell knees. Like, yeah, like I know it's an act, but Armand's, res Armand's response to being nominated is, it's him to me, it's really impressive. 
It's awesome that Jess is HOH because I have a massive amount of influence on the big decisions this week. Herman is playing a great game. He's good with pretty much everyone in the house except for me and Jess. So I want him gone. He's having fun. He's hanging out with people. He's got a big smile like that. It's terrifying. He's overconfident because he thinks he has the votes. And Moose has way less trust with everyone else, with everyone in the house than Herman does. Herman has people. So it's to our advantage that Herman goes. Chocolate bar for dinner. You have the bigger end. So much. Let's play cool. Let's win the beat armor. I would love that. I'm thrilled. Want chocolate? Jess has to pick a replacement nominee, and obviously I know that I'm safe, but because I know their entire game, I'm pretty concerned about my number one hitting the block. Helena. I don't want him to win. Work this scenario. Way back in week one, Helena and I formed a final two alliance. We gotta start thinking of a name. The ghosts. The ghosts. The ghosts. Nobody sees us. We're there, though. You feel us. The ghosts. The ghosts. We are the ghost. It's perfect, because no one expects us to be working together. We are totally undercover, and we share all of our information. She told me one night. She told me in the summer. Apparently, one of us girls, me, Tanisha, somewhere. I do want to go next to them. somebody. Yeah, I don't say anything. I don't say anything you tell me for anybody. Sure. I don't say people. What are you guys scheming about? I'm just talking. Yeah, straight scheming, yo. With my boy Kev. Kev told me that I'm his target. That was like three weeks ago. You did say that to me, though. Is it still true? No. Hope not. I'll go. Oh, that's comforting for me. Chocolate. Okay. I enjoy it. Okay. Welcome. What are you thinking? D, if I don't think it go up. If I put D up, everyone's ready to flip it, and I have so many people against me. But I'm gonna campaign like hell to, to make sure this goes. I truly believe that as of now, things would go with a unanimous vote. I think Helena has to go up. I know that putting up Helena is best for Jess's game, but it is not best for my game, so it can't happen. Talk to me. Why are you worried? You kill me out with Helena, I think. Potentially. I need her to trust me. This is a huge This is not a way to get her to trust you. It's a bold move. The bolder move is putting up Tanisha and it backfires. And then I'm not sure. It makes more sense than putting up Alina. It feels like you're forgetting the people who wanted to work with you before you were age of age. Because I truly think Alina is somebody who actually respects you and doesn't see you as a number. Whereas the three see you as a number. He thinks you're expendable. Right now, I am feeling pulled in a bunch of directions. So what am I doing with it? This is the hugest decision ever, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. Jess, since I've just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will have to choose a replacement nominee. This game isn't easy. I need this to be a successful HOH, so I have to listen to my gut. And I nominate you, Denisha. All right. Hey, give me I feel great. Tanisha's on the block. Moose is still there. Now I just need to decide who is going to go home this week. How you feeling? I'm good, bro. 
Dude, I'm, I'm, what's your pitch? You want to do it now? Yeah. All right. You're somebody that I actually do need your vote. When it comes to campaigning, you can throw anything at me, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to stay in this house. For Jess, in general, in the game, like, I'm a target, right? Like, saving me right now, and I win HOH. You are somebody that's safe. For any nom or reno. Yes. But you will have safety from me. If you win HOH, you can put me up bloodless. You could put up a target and me with no repercussions left. I mean, I was going to keep Moose in the house anyway, but now he's offering me the entire world. Amazing. Let's go to work and let's make sure that Moose sticks around for one more week. Oh. That was good. So what do you want to do? I know, right? Why, what are you thinking, Kev? I'm very confused. Yeah. A lot of people are fed up with Moose. Team leaves a lot of people completely lost. Exactly. You take away T and that whole group is split. I'm not saying that revenge is a good thing, but if I was left out of a phone like you two were. I might want to do the same thing. Not that that's a good game. Revenge is a basic human desire. Gino and JC Lynn were on the wrong side of a 9-2 to two vote to evict Steph. And now, I want to get in their heads that it's time for them to take their revenge. I know, there's a lot to think about. He truly is the best social player in the game. I'm not afraid of Betty and Summer. They're still gonna go after Gino and Marty before us. I know, and if we've got a couple weeks to survive, then we can patch things up. We can... It just, there is a chance that by doing this, if the right person wins, the two of us end up on the block. Yeah. Helena and I are up to no good, and Josh is the perfect person to bring into this. He's been working closely with Tanisha. However, we are way more fun. Josh, come over to the dark side, my friend. How are you feeling, Kevin? I think if we're going to make something happen, we need to make it happen sooner. I agree. of five to four. Tanisha, you have been evicted. Please get your things and say your goodbyes. Kevin. Somehow I have to keep Helena safe. I could choose her, but that would publicly out us as a duo. Marty's gut has been telling him on and off all game that Gino doesn't have his back. I know that other than me, Helena is his closest ally, so I'm pretty sure that if I choose him, he'll choose Helena. Marty. Thanks. Marty, the person you choose now 
will be the last house guest with guaranteed safety. I was stuck. I have a final two with Alina. I told Jean I would, I would take him like final four. And I have Jess next to me. So I have three people that I wanted to save and I have one choice. Marty, please tell us who you are adding to the chain of safety. Alina. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you so very much, man. Like, I mean, you picked me and I appreciate it so much. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? I think you made the right choice. It turned on Gina before. You know, when I we were supposed to be good, like, uh, God. But you made the right choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, come on. And most of them want to play with him. Oh, yeah. 110%, right? So, do you want to fly that tonight? Send you home. We're going to have the phones. I don't think so. And to be honest, there's no way you're going to. A second time. I told him I would give him my vote. I, I never, I never brought it up. I, I, I told him I would give him my vote. No matter what, like everybody's gonna vote out. Jess, I'm not stupid. We don't have a ton of time. The live eviction is minutes away. I don't think we can pull this off. Another attack? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Are you voting to evict Gina or are you voting to evict Jess? We have the numbers. Me, Betty, would vote for this. What's better for our game right now? Alina's right there, and Marty's right there. Jess is not coming out. No, he doesn't. She said, come on, f***ing. Are we doing that? Yeah. Bring, bring them in here. Oh, Marty's going to have trouble. We'll let her go. No, I don't know. Betty, Betty, hold on. I don't know. This is real dangerous. This is so dangerous. Move right now. What are you guys thinking? To save Jess or to save Gino? It's better for Vermont and Moose if Gino stays. Is it better for us, though? I'm happy to send Gino home. Tom, how many balls do we need? We have five. That's oh, fine. I mean, if everybody in here wants to evict Gino. What is it? I don't know. My gosh, you're the smartest man here. Like, a showman says two votes every single time. Yes, yes. We're getting to smaller and smaller. Not two thumbs up, thumbs up five ways. Evict Gino. Are you in? Hey, where, where are you at? I don't know. I'm not Say you're in. Say you're in. If, then let's I've see. already made a tough ass decision to send someone home. It was tough for me. What is the decision? I meant to send Gino home. What do you want to do? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes. Thank you. Thumbs up. You got yeah. me. Thumbs up. Yeah. Smarter. Well, yeah. wow, 100%. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Arissa. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Jess. Yeah. What do you think there was two votes? He ran after me into the pantry, but he doesn't really lie. No, nah, he wouldn't do that twice to me. I don't think it was Helena. It's not Helena. It's not Marty. It's not Moose. It's not Armand. I'll see you. I need a man. What's your name? Come. Josh and Betty. There were five people in the XPD room. There was Josh, there was Betty, there was me, there was Lino, there was Kevin. All right? We were arrived there, and then there was a plan. Oh, let's get Gino, let's get Gino. Oh, there could be one, one of Josh and Betty, and then somebody else. Where are we at? Where's Betty? Hello. Oh, here in my bed. All right, well, pretty much, I'm just trying to figure out who those two rogue votes were. I know, obviously, all five of you were in the room, and you all said it. I just want to find out what's the real story. Like, who was in there first? So I went into Expedia. I asked Betty, I said, are you voting to evict um, Jess? She's like, yes. And I'm, she's like, oh. And then we were like, OK, well, it should be a unanimous thing. And then that's what we had agreed on. The moment we leave, I don't know where those two votes came from. 100%. I, when I walk in the room, you guys were already discussing about voting out Gino. I walked into that conversation. No, we said, what I are we walk, doing? Well, exactly. That's what are we what doing? We what are we doing? So make sure you get the conversation well, correct. Well, Hannah, I, the, Gino's name was already out there. My I, hands were up, and I said, I already did something hard. I'm not a part of this. I'm not doing this. You did not say that. You're lying. 
You're oh, literally lying. No. You did not say Are I'm you not kidding me? She is not lying. You did not say I'm not she doing is this. Not lying. Flipping kid, you did not say I'm not doing this. I remember you saying that. You said I made a hard decision today, but you did not say I'm not doing I this. Are you kidding me? You literally, I go, you're asking, what is everyone doing? I go, what are you doing? Did what I did I say? Please tell you me didn't say anything. Thank you. There was no agreement about anything. It was very clear that this was quite a random group of people. However, it seemed like a discussion about maybe some Gino home, no? Yes, that's what yeah. was discussed. The thing I can remember at the end, when we left, somebody was going like this. It's a, are you good? Are you good? Are you good? That's what I remember. It wasn't me. No. I did not put my thumbs up. No? I did not vote there nobody that did a thumbs up like this? I did not, I did not, I did not put my thumbs, thumbs up. up. I put my hands up. Somebody remembers that, or am I making this I up? I definitely didn't do that. I just can speak on behalf of myself, and I know that I didn't vote to evict you. I did See, not vote to I evict you. I voted to evict Jess. I voted to evict Jess. I voted to evict Jess. OK. Sounds good. Thank you. Kevin, you look like a video game player right now. There's no way I'm throwing the hoop when the light turns red. I am focused because my life in the game is at stake. I just tried to pull off another big move and send Gino home, but it didn't work. So I'm locked in and I'm ready to win this HOH. This is an extremely high pressure game. And last time Marty betrayed Gino, he did not do well with it. I just want to check in with him. Marty, what happened? I was put in a position where I had to choose between three people. I was destroyed about it. I was in the living room, still trying to wrap my head about what happened. And they came and grabbed me, hey, come here, come here, Nick. And you were there as well as I do. You know who made the talking? You know I didn't see in that meeting. We were talking about, oh, Gino, let's vote Gino, let's vote. So I voted to the Gino. And then after that, like, they turned. And then they look in cameras and say, well, I swear on my parents and my life. I, I, I never voted. No, because I got Marty to do my dirty work for me. That's what happened right now. It's OK. I have enough of this. The only reason why I stayed in here to get back at them. What the? That's the H.O.H., you no? Know? It's Kevin and Marty. OK. Honestly, like, if it's not for this, I walk right into the diary room and I say, I'm done. And I just leave the f***ing house. This game is really getting to Marty. He has seriously selective memory. It wasn't just Josh and Betty trying to flip the vote. I was in there with full conviction, saying, let's do it. But if I wasn't involved, fine by me. How can I help? Just make sure that one of them goes home. Okay. Is that f***ing clear enough to you? Okay. <sighs> the last thing I wanted to do is to turn on Gino a second time, and I did. And it sucks. Sorry, Rena, I'm, I'm like this right now. I'm just... It's okay. It's, it's my character at play. It's, just, it's, it's like I want to be able to walk outside this, this house being proud of somewhat of the way it played. It's a tie. House guests, it's a split vote. Two votes each for Betty and Kevin. OK. So you will be facing off against each other. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! This round starts now. Woo! Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Stay focused. I want to win, and I want to do something this week. Winning this would mean that I finally have some real agency in this game instead of playing the middle. As much as I like to think things over 30 times, it's a ball arcade game. Just throw the thing. Keep tossing. Let's go. Keep going. You guys have this. Betty with one ball. Kevin with three balls. Come Betty's on, actually Betty. launching that thing. Oh, Kevin sinks another one, and Betty with back-to-back -back balls. Oh, Four for Kevin, no. three for Betty. Kevin sinks his fifth ball. He's looking for his last one. Betty trying to catch up. Betty sinks a fourth ball. Good job, Betty. Keep going, keep going. 
It's not about the speed, it's about the focus. Ooh. And Kevin sinks the last oh. ball and moves on. The final round starts now. Josh, Betty, and Summer are all gone. Gina would keep the nominations the same, but that's not interesting. So it's up to me to take down the fireman. Gino has got his puzzle all solved and ready to look for his intersecting letters. And Kevin completes his cue. You guys are killing it. Yo, Kevin might catch up here. And Gino is moving on to his letters. Good job, guys. Kevin and Gino both have all of their intersecting letters. Check. Congratulations, Kevin! Let's go! Oh, my God, look how he spelled it! Oh, oh. Congratulations, Kevin! You have won the power of Vito! We did it, baby! Let's get weird! Bye, guys! I don't know what's gonna happen now. I need to stay humble, which is sometimes hard for me, but it might be time to create some more chaos. Nominize? <laughs> Nominize! Oh, my God! Nominize! Gino! <laughs> you got the beginning of the week, I got the middle. Oh. That's so awesome. Well, you know, we came in for a shower, and she was like, well, we got to back to our mall. We got to back to our mall. And I was like, I don't know. And then let's see what we do with that. Of course, 100% we'll do Gino and, and Jason and Volvo. You think they'd be mad at us? Yes, 110%, because he's like that with our mom. I love Marty, but he is not that hard to manipulate. We have to ask the right questions and get him talking so that he will lead himself in the direction that we want him to go. Do you want to know what I think, Marty? No. What do you think? I think if you backdoor Herman, it might win you $100,000. That said, if you want your revenge week and you want to send Betty or Josh home, that's OK. But to me, strategically, it's the right move. Josh, Alina, and I are working together in an alliance. We call ourselves the Crash Test Dummies. We are going to get to the end by being in the middle and causing chaos. And so I really don't want to see Josh go home this week. But for me to do that, that will be me turning my back a third time on Gene. Because right now, like, he thinks we're voting Betty out. It's this move. You're not turning on Gina. I'm down to do whatever you want. That said, I think Gino is with us. And if Herman wins next week, he could easily backdoor you. He could easily backdoor Gino. He could easily do something else. He's a complete liar. I don't trust anyone. Herman goes. That only makes us closer to Gino. That only makes Final Five more likely. Like the only, only way I would possibly Considering that, we would have to talk to Gino and Gino would say, okay, I'm good with that. Either he says, sure, or if he finds for he's showing his card. I think that's a perfect plan. Yeah. I spoke like, how long? Two way running along, he's gonna be on the block. He's gonna be pissed. There he is. This is the power of veto ceremony. Josh and Betty have been nominated for eviction, but I have earned the power to veto one of Marty's nominations. Josh, tell me why I should use the veto to save you. Kevin, you showed us that you can party the hardest out of everyone, and for that, you deserve this veto win. I would absolutely appreciate if you would use the veto on me, but either way, I respect whatever your decision is today, and I will always love you. Sweet. Betty, why should I use the veto to save you? Kev, I value you as a player, and I appreciate you as my friend. There is nothing I would love more than for you to use the veto on me. 
But at the end of the day, you earn that gold chain around your neck, and I respect any decision you make. I have decided to use the power of veto on Josh. I'm a superstitious person. If I see cracks on the sidewalk, I don't step on them. And I've noticed a pattern in this game that I don't want to interrupt. The veto has been used every week so far, and I don't want to be the one to break that. Marty, since I have just vetoed one of your choices for eviction, you will need to name a replacement nominee. <clears throat> Her mom. Last week, when my good friend Jess was in power, uh, you showed everyone in Canada that you like to dance yourself on and off the block. So at this time, I will invite you to dance your way right back up to the block. Her mom. Please take a seat. No way. This power of veto ceremony is complete. All good. I don't even know what to say right now. I really didn't think Kevin was going to use the POV on me, even though he said he would. My boy Kevin came through today. This was Marty's HOH week, but let's be real, it was Helena and mine. We've gotten everything that we wanted. Our close ally Josh has come off the block, and he's been replaced by the person targeting us, Herman. Sorry, Herman, but at some point, the jokes need to end, and this time, you're not gonna like the punchline. What's up, Brody? I give you a hug? Yeah, no. did you, unless you had it planned. I, I, Which I'm sure you did. I, I knew you were wrong. Yeah, I figured. Why? You don't have to think that long. I know you always, you always tell me I don't show my cards, so. We never show any cards, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna keep them. Sounds good. What's a barracuda like? A barracuda? They're fast. Yeah, very fast. At the very beginning of this game, I didn't want anyone to know that I was a doctor. So I told everyone that I'm a marine biologist. What brought you to Vancouver? I work most of the student. What do you study? I'm um, marine biology. Wow. You're going to need to tell me a lot about uh, marine sure, biology. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's incredibly yeah, cool. For sure. Even though I studied biology in the past, I know almost next to nothing about marine biology. What else? Swift? Curious? Creative? Oh. Mysterious? And they're like, they're like, they look ugly, but they're not, right? Yeah. Like they look like, they look scary, but they're actually like. No. Now Kevin keeps asking me questions. Are they friendly animals or no? No, they're elusive. Uh, oh, interesting. I really wish I picked an easier profession to lie about. They avoid you. How big is a barracuda? Like a foot? Two feet? Three feet? And, and what's the difference between a barracuda and an eel? Good question. I really need to learn what a barracuda is, though. House guests, I have the results. By a unanimous vote. Herman, I'm sorry. You've been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Please get your things and say your goodbyes.
Herman, I got my way this week. All week I've been trying to get you on the block and finally I won that veto and Marty took my advice and put you up. You've been a really fun adversary to play with. We've gone back and forth, but this time I got the W. I'm a little bit worried. Why? I think right now, Marty is everybody's target. I think so. Marty is a wild dog, but Helena and I have reeled him in. We've tamed him, and he'll do whatever we want. So it's important that we keep Marty off the block this week. Let's say he goes, then you're the next big part. Oh, 100%. Helena, Marty, and I have recently joined forces with the showmans. It gives us numbers. We have five people, and if we can stay together, then we control the house. Also, Marty has a massive target on his back, so he is an amazing shield for all of us. So we need to win, and we need to keep it. So let's go on in and protect the five. Yeah, exactly. That's the goal. We've entered the second half of the game. Power is more important than ever. I don't think people are throwing this comp. Every single person wants this HOH, and they want it bad. Gino wins HOH. I love it. He's been pretending he's stupid all season, but the guy is very, very intelligent, and he might be the smartest person in the house. Here's my pitch. Uh, <laughs> you can do whatever you want with me as a player for the rest Whoa. of the game. <laughs> Moose throws out his offer, and I know he's joking, but Gino is playing a game here, Moose. You've got to be more careful about what you say, and you might end up on the block because of it. All right, good. Hmm? All right. I'm great. You? Yes. Hopefully everything's still good. Yep. That's the case. Yep. But honestly, I don't know if like if he would put me up, like I would be like, all right, I deserve this. You know what I mean? Like, hopefully we stick to the gift. I think so, but you never know. I trust him. Me too. I think if we get Moose or Josh or something like that out, the numbers are really yeah. in our favors after, right? Yep. And honestly, like I told him, I, I'm not coming after your showmans. I can guarantee you some other people that will. If Marty wants to stay off the block, he really needs to tell Gino that he is loyal to this five that we've made up. He won't betray Gino again, which he might, because he's done it twice already. And he needs to stay in the showman's good graces. Just chill a little bit, OK? Yeah, I know. It's never simple, but mm -hmm. we've got a long week ahead. We're solid. Yeah. I'm cold. I'm gonna warm up like an Expedia. Right. I know that I just promised Gino that I wouldn't say a word about his plan to backdoor Marty. But I obviously had to tell my boy Kevin. You've never sabotaged me, right? You can't mention any of this. I have pretty good relationships with everyone in the house, but my loyalty definitely lies with the crash test dummies. All right, so what's our funny name? The crash test dummies. <laughs> So I'm spilling the tea to Kevin. Well, he wants Marty gone. First of all, point blank and center. He would like to do a back door. So on the block, he wants to put two people. Yeah. He's thinking about putting moves as a pun. Um, and then there's a second person he doesn't know who yet. This means one of two things. Gino is actually planning to backdoor Marty, or Gino is making Josh feel safe, and Gino wants to backdoor Josh. Neither one is good for me. He thinks Helena and Marty are really close. Yeah, so likely won't put Helena on the block, because he doesn't want the chance of Marty getting big. Wow. It makes sense they want Marty out, though. How do you feel? It's probably a good move for Betty, Summer, Moose. Yeah. Bad for me, you and Helena. Yeah. So I think it would be smart for you to kind of disconnect from Marty. Yeah. Good call. Mr. Andrew? Yes, sir. Come on in. Andrew Gross, Gina and Gina LLP. Two oh. years ago, I represented your ex-husband and your oh, divorce yeah, settlement. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember you. Yeah. Oh, I thought, it, I thought it was you when I saw your name on the schedule. Pleasure. How's everything with your uh, new partner? It's going great. Yeah? Gino doesn't know that Josh told me about his plan to backdoor Marty. So this is a great opportunity for me to throw on my lawyer outfit and come to a verdict about what Gino is really up to. So, G, how can I help? So, um, I don't really need help right now. Um, I think what I might be doing is 
possibly putting somewhere up. Okay. I feel like she's too comfortable with everything in this house. Yep. So I want to get her uncomfortable and put her in the block and be like, hey, it's time to play the game and fight. My second will possibly be a moose. Strong player, still on the other yeah. side. And he's kind of playing in the middle right now. Yep. How do you feel? I think it's smart. Yeah. Do you have a preference if he goes home? The stronger player would be nice to go home. Yep. Um, if Summer goes home too, I'm good. Uh, if they pull themselves off, then it might be a Josh or Betty thing. Yep. Yeah, I don't care who goes out of the four. Yeah. I'm not really sure whether Gino is lying to me about his noms, but either way, I want to steer his attention away from my man Marty in case the backdoor plan that he told to Josh is actually real. I truly think Marty is like a total shield for us. And especially with you, as soon as he's gone, they're coming after you. For sure, that I'm aware of. Yeah, I'm really aware of that. And they were probably pitching you to backdoor him today also, right? Oh, like Marty? Yeah. They didn't pitch it, but like obviously, you know, that's their target. Yeah. I wouldn't see them not going after him, for sure. Yeah. And I feel like Marty has a big target right now on his back, and yeah, he knows it too. Yeah. He's told me it. Um, I'm probably next. Um, yeah. Obviously, my trust is not there 100%. So, um, oh. like you said, like he's, he's like a shield right now. Yeah. And uh, he's a strong player too, so might as well all keep working together for now. If Gino is lying, he is a damn good liar. But for now, I'm taking this info and I'm storing it in my back pocket. Thanks, G. All right, Andrew. Nice Pleasure. Party. Yeah. Yeah, you let Kevin know I'm doing well. Excellent. This POV will put a smile on your face. This is horrible. I hope he's a wisdom tooth. <laughs> Hello, house guest! Yeah! yeah! I hope you're all ready to sink your teeth into today's Power of Veto competition. Woo! Let's do it. I think it was a legit backdoor plan for Marty. I think so, too, because... So you might have saved our games last night. You think Jason and Gina are going to pitch to you? I wonder. I'm gonna pull the whole, I'm dumb naive to the five, you know? Yeah. Because also, I think they think as Marty has said he's close with us. Them taking out Marty? Yeah, it's gross. Yeah. Super smart. Yeah. Like right now, Moose would be better for our game to be gone. 100%. Yeah. I'd be playing their flipping game. I've decided not to use the power of veto. Even though I am superstitious, I'm willing to break the pattern and take the risk of any bad luck. So to the both of you, I wish you nothing but good luck. The campaign begins again. I'm gonna keep it very, very, very real with you. I think a lot of people want to shoot at Marty. I think that's clear. With me, I'm not saying that I want in on what you guys are doing. I don't need to be in on your plans. I'm not trying to be in part of your conversations. Yeah. But I think working with you guys moving forward would be great. You could just essentially put me in the category of people that won't want to shoot at you moving forward yeah. if you guys decide to save me. Yeah. I would love to bring Marty into this room and say it to both of you. As for Summer, I don't know if you can put hang your hat on that. I think Summer would be interested in shooting at Marty for sure. Moose gets the award for best campaigner of the season so far. Every time Moose campaigns to anyone in the house, they leave the conversation and they're thinking, oh, maybe he is good for my game. That's terrifying to me. On the other hand, Summer is awful at campaigning. She makes basically no promises, and that's not the greatest thing, especially when you're up against campaigner of the year, Moose. Who are you more afraid of doing something radical, me or Summer? Do you make it to day 70 with somebody who you can see is willing to f say what they mean in front of the whole house? Or do you want somebody that has been moving in private this whole time who will win power and won't tell you what they'll do? Yeah. Mount HOH is a classic BB can endurance comp. 
This thing is going to be difficult. It's going to test people's limits, and the winner is going to have to suffer for it. I'm 220 pounds dry, so you start adding water to me, my body hates it, I'm in so much pain, my shirt is rising above my belly button. This wall is as bad as I thought it would be. It's okay, Kat. I actually don't need to win this HOH. I'm pretty much good with everyone in the house right now. However, I really didn't want to be the first one off. That is so embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Gino falls asleep and starts snoring. I'm used to the snoring at night, but during a comp, this is a first, and I don't blame him. We've been sitting here for what feels like hours. I'm starting to have my own endurance comp. <sighs> Marty and Betty are the final two. I love that. This is so exciting. Each person would put the other on the block. They're holding on for dear life. As a fan, I am having so much fun watching this. One against everybody here. That's how it feels. I don't feel like that. It's not true. I don't know. I'm here, so I'm right. You want? Just me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe you can make decisions. You're out. Want some fruit with me? Yeah. <laughs> Love that for you guys. Very romantic. <laughs> Josh is in there. Let them have their time. Um, as much as, you know, it's his third. We're sitting pretty, buddy. Look at us. Cheers. It's evil, but... Look, I'll take safety. I know. Helena and I have historically been able to exert a lot of influence on Marty's decisions. Same should be true this week. We're in charge. I want Gino out. Me too. Ideally, we want Gino out of the house, but that's virtually impossible with Marty. Would Marty put up Josh and Betty together, or would he put up Summer and Betty? He lives right now. I think, do you think Josh let go of I wouldn't be surprised. I think he thought that he had it. This is the Maybe. Even though Helena and I are in an alliance with Josh, we recognize that Josh is amazing. We're scared of going deep with Josh because we know how smart, athletic, charming, and incredible he is. So maybe this is the week to take him out. He needs to be like... Sorry. Betty. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I'm freaking good. You're you're a vet now. You've done it. Betty, reporting live from the block for the <laughs> third time this season. <laughs> Betty, how does this time feel compared to your first time? The first time was a blind side, so I mean it sucked. The third time, I'm feeling like a fire has been lit in my ass to win this power veto. All right. I know. So I think it might put Marty in a little bit of a sticky situation if either Josh or I take ourselves off the block. So that's something I really want to see. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna do a bath. Goodbye. Goodbye now. I'm literally sweating. Money. Right. See you later. Marty's really obsessed with Betty. It's enough. It's boring. But there's a lot of pressure right now to keep the noms the same. We have this group of five that has worked together okay over the last couple of weeks. It's me and Helena, the showman's, and Marty. And if the veto is used, Marty is going to have to do something that he doesn't want to do, and that thing is nominate someone from the group of five. This is a dumb alliance. It's basically two duos and Marty, so he's the only one who's really committed to it. Oh, bad time. 
Yes, sir. It's visual, okay? Perfect. Classy, all game, beautiful. Go work. It's always tense, though, ceremony. That one wasn't too tense. Well, it wasn't too bad. They knew I had a time, too. It's a good thing one of them didn't get uh, oh, safety. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You should, like I say, like, eat waves, let's say summer winds, and take one off. Like, even if we have to put somebody in the fight, we would still have to go. Hopefully, we don't have to go there, for sure. If Betty or Josh comes off the block, I have a final two with Helena. And given our history, obviously, Gino wouldn't be an option. I think it would be between JC Lynn and Kevin. Yeah, we should be good either way to get one of the two out. Yeah. Have a good bat, my friend. Thanks, Mary. OK. The key to winning this comp is having a good counting strategy. So what I'm doing is I'm using this hand to count the minutes, one, two, three, four, five, and back to 10. Then I'm using this hand to count every group of 10 minutes. So that gets me up to 50 minutes. If I do the whole thing twice, then I reach 100 minutes. <laughs> I enjoy a good bath with nice, relaxing music, beautiful scented candles, but this cold water is freezing. I really like to win this comp purely because I think if I used the veto on Josh or Betty without telling Marty in advance, his head would explode and he would probably put up JC Lynn. Plus, it would keep me safe from being the replacement nominee. Hi, Kev. I miss you so, 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 so much. It brings me so much joy to see how genuinely happy you seem on the show. I love you more than anything in the entire world. I'll see you soon. Love you, Jill. Look alive, everybody. <laughs> Ooh. Y'all gonna drown us? Give me some good stuff, Marty. What is that? <laughs> hey, brother, you're sick. <laughs> Gee, I feel like you love this. I actually do. I won't lie. This is just a regular night out for Gino. <laughs> <laughs> He's living his life. I feel like my counting was on point, and I think I might have won. For fourth place, with a time of 125 minutes and 45 seconds, Kevin. Je pense que ça serait pas mal. Jason puis Kevin. Qu'est-ce que toi tu penses? Moi, j'ai peur que si Jason va on, il m'en sait pas un flip. Finalement, en moi plutôt, je vais te le dire. Aussi tant que je crois que j'ai peur qu'il joue avec Josh. Philippe, mon god m'a dit, il comme des de ma tête aussi. Il poche avec Josh, ouais, mais il aussi poche avec Summer aussi, puis Summer, puis Josh, puis Betty, c'est comme... C'est ça que je dis, ça. ça. Kevin, please go to the diary room. Ooh, okay. Hello, Kevin. You have been selected for a secret mission. But first, you must discover which of the mystery doors has now been unlocked. Behind this door is a secret room? <laughs> Once you've found it, head inside. Make sure your fellow house guests don't see you. This is a secret. Shh. Okay, cool. I love it. Wipe the smile off my face. Marsha! Oh, hi. Hi, good afternoon. You look amazing. Who are you? 
I'm Kevin. It's a pleasure to meet you. Longtime fan. Nice to meet you, Kevin. I was on vacation. Sorry for all the luggage. Yeah, it's my travel gear. I got my flip flops, my scarf, my hat, my air fryer, you know, all the things a girl needs. Ooh, you're so tall. Um, I'm, I'm like 6'1". I sometimes say 6'2". Such broad shoulders. Can you tell I'm blushing, Kevin? I can tell you're blushing. You look cute. Oh, you're a big fella. Show me your gun. You want to see the guns? There's. You ever kiss those? There's one. Mm -hmm. Oh, kiss the other one for me. There's the other one. Mm. Hey, Kevin. Yes. Do you like secret missions? I love secret missions. Your secret mission is to convince your fellow house guests that you're going to self evict. OK. Once you've spoken to all the house guests, return to this room. OK. You have 100 minutes to complete this mission. Do you know what 100 minutes is? Uh, apparently not. Not 125. Y yeah, I. If you're having a hard time figuring that out, just ask Betty, OK? OK, yeah. Remember, you can't tell anyone about the mission. It's a secret. I will not. You promise? I promise. OK. Looking good, Marsha. Oh, you know it. Now get out there and put on a show. Hey, yeah. can I have a word with you quickly? Um, so it's, I put us in this position. I didn't win yesterday. It, it screwed up our whole thing. And I think it's gonna be up. And I don't want that to happen. I care too much about this game. I care too much about the integrity of it. So I'm, I'm leaving. Get out. Kevin, no, get leaving. out of here. No, I'm leaving. Kevin, there's no. We're good. You're ridiculous. We're good. It's fun. No, no, Kevin, you're being. I love, I, I love this game. I love it so much. I love this game too, Bob. I'm. I'm gonna let it play out the way it's supposed to play. Josh, it's done. Okay, I love you. Stop. I love you. Don't please don't tell anybody. I'm gonna go tell everyone. It's okay. Hey, I love you. Kevin, I can't do this game without you. No, I can't. You know that. Kevin, give me your bag. It's okay. It's okay. What the? Why is he holding his entire bag? What are you doing with your bag here, Kevin? What is wrong? Tell me right now. I heard from Jillian last night. Yeah. And it just hit me, and so I'm gonna walk out of the house with my head held high. Are you are you being serious or not? I'm dead serious. I'm gonna go home. You're going on the walk? No, I'm gonna go home. Are you self evicting? Yeah. Why? It's too much. Are you being serious? Yeah, I know. I know. You don't. No, don't cry. Don't cry. No. Thank you. Shut up. You're joking with me. Like, you don't know what it's like to be married. I don't. Don't throw that in my face. <laughs> Kevin's egg. Yeah, he's claiming to be self evicting So Marty doesn't have to put any of this up. You're <laughs> me, right? No, I'm not. I'll self evict before you evict. Why are we all self evicting? Like, isn't this like a fucking experience of a lifetime? Excuse me. Yeah. Is Kevin self evicting? Yeah. That's what he just told us. We're talking about that right now. It's better be a prank on me, eh? Kev, can you chat with all of us out here? Or yeah, can I, I chat just, with you? Yeah, I'll, I just need to talk to Marty, and I'll talk to you. Wait, can I chat with you? Okay. Yeah, just, just, I need to talk to Marty. I was gone for 15 minutes. Why is your back here? You've, you've been a, a friend to me since day one. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Today's my last day. I pack my bag. I'm walking out. I need to do my toiletries and I'm done. No, no, Kevin, don't want to do it. Let's stop. Let's stop. Hey, buddy. Buddy, hey. Yes, I got hey, you. Hey, I love you. I love you. You look amazing your summer outfit. I thought about this, but I don't want to be talked out of it. I've decided. Is Kevin okay? Because he did approach me and he looks very distraught, like very um, not well. Okay, thanks. You know, we'll monitor you, right? Okay. I'll monitor it too. I'm going. You're going? What do you mean? I'm going. Is someone evicting you? Oh, off my Hey, stop it. It's been a pleasure. No, never. I've decided. No, like I won't let that happen. I'm going to go tackle No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. Marty, I'm out. I'm not letting you go. 
can have it. I'm out. Jillian, I've, I've I'm doing this for you. No, no, it's a no. I want to talk some more, man. Okay. So, are you still eating those? You can have it. Oh, man, I can't, man. It. Such a cool one. This is some of the most fun that I've had in this house. You're going to remember this forever. You sure this is what you want to do? 100%. You could win this thing. You can be at the finale. It's OK. My time has come. It's OK. Just like five seconds. It's OK. Just it's, okay. Seconds. it's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please, Josh, please. It is the right thing, I know. I love you all. No way. What? I heard that voicemail last night, and it just made everything so clear. Kevin. Are you serious? It's okay. What? Love you, love you. See you soon. Kevin? Kevin, don't do it. Don't. don't. Kevin. Are you serious? Kevin. Kevin, don't. I regret it. Just kidding! Kevin, don't do it! I hate Kevin. you! Oh my god! I was given a secret task to convince all of you that I was planning to self evict by none other than Big Brother Canada icon, Marsha the Moon! <laughs> never self-evict. I would never do that. Please tell me there's a party, boy. As a reward, we are all getting a sleepover party in the Expedia members. Yeah! Let's go. Yeah! You made Joshua cry. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> what he flip though on us? Kevin is my number one in this game, and I do not want Kevin on the block. But you do know that Gino and Jace were wanting to backdoor you, right? You know that. The showmans need to go up. I'm sorry, Canada, this love story needs to come to an end. Kevin always has your back. It's like Jason and Gino, I've heard them talk about you. With Kevin, though, he's never said anything bad about you, and that's why I'm like, really, like, is he really gonna screw you over? You don't think you would flip. My gut is telling me the showmans, they could easily flip. Yes, you have Gino's back, 100%, yeah. vice versa. It's already starting to get hot here. Like, every night, it's a furnace. Yeah. Helena told me that Marty is considering me for the block. That's kind of scary, because I know that the showmans would cut me in a second. If I go up, I'm in real danger. This week, it is the Ghost versus the Showmans for the renomination, and we're gonna throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Um, I'm gonna have a chat with you. Um, I'll be quite honest, right, right now my radar's freaking flying all over the place that you're gonna flip and go with Josh and Mitty and, and Summer. Sounds like you're leaning towards putting me up. I'm telling you right now, everything's up in the air. If you put me up, like, Marty, that would hurt so much, because. Mm -hmm my eggs are in your basket. I know, but what about if they're in Josh and Benny and Summer's back? They're not. I, will, I want Josh out. I will go outside, and I will yell to the whole house, Marty is my number one, if you want me to. If you also, if you put up Gino, I know you're not putting up Gino. Yeah. If, you, if you put up not me, I will stand up after the ceremony and say, John, we're voting to evict you. Yeah, yeah. How, how can I show you that? Do you want to keep this until after the vote? That's what I can offer. Do you want to do that? Marty is an emotional guy, and we've really bonded over being the only two married men in this house. The only issue is that I'm not actually married. If I decide to not put you up, it's because I trust you. Like, you don't have to give me your ring, like, oh. I thought you did trust me, and this kills me right now. I want to do what I think is best for my game. So then what, are you doing what's best for your game, or what's best for Gino? Because if you're putting up someone, do you trust more? I really don't know why that is here, so I need to take time. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, I swear on my marriage, I will vote the way you want me to. Yeah. That's all I can do. Yeah, I know. 
And honestly, like my gut is telling me that he's telling me the truth. He has my back and he will vote out Josh this week. All four of them, I think, will vote Josh out. So I just need to find a way to make it as fair as possible. Okay, so first thing I want to say, OK, I just want to remind you guys what we have accomplished so far as the five, an alliance with no name. We would probably go down in the book, uh, like a picture like that on the wall. I think we would be right up there. This week, again, we control everything. We almost have the job done. We need to stick strong together. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm going to ask you, Gino, how do you feel about this group? Are you 100%? Almost not yet. Are you going to vote Josh? Yeah. 100%. I'm in. I will vote to evict Josh with a smile on my face. OK. <laughs> Did you ever turn on this? No. No. Me neither. 100% in. I'm 100% voting Josh out. I've told you this. And I've never turned on this. This is all I have. 100% I'm voting Josh out. I'm not going to turn on the bus. OK. All right. So Canada, you guys heard it? OK. Technically, today, whoever goes up is a friggin' moon point. Sounds good? Yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to do today. One, one gummy bear that's red, and I got two that's yellow. Whoever gets the red goes on the block. Gummy bears to decide who's going up as a replacement? Are you freaking kidding me, Marty? I put three in it because honestly, with her history and everything that happened, I don't want to think that I'm turning on you or anything. But having said that, I'm going to leave you with the decision if you want me to add a fourth one in, yes or no. Point. Let's go. So we're all strong. Okay, so I'll ask you to pick one. Keep it in your hand. We'll all open it together for the camera. Sounds okay. good? Oh, God. OK. You shouldn't be worried. We're all strong. Let's let's do this up till the end. We'll get to the five. And we'll go down in the street as one of the big, biggest alliance in this game. Good. Count this down, Marty. Okay, three, two, one. Say what? G? Yep. If you go home, I'm gonna be friggin' pissed, man. Everybody should have your back. Kidding. All right? Marty, I'm good. Oh. Kidding. I'll save him for next time. Marty, you, you're, I thought I was the wild man in the group. <laughs> Holy shimoly. We, hey, we all have our backs here. We're going to the end with this. Let's look at the camera and maybe five. I don't want to have a sign, but I want to make sure this is the sign. Think this. If anyone flips, I'm going to get something like it. I know. Seriously. Just stick together, eh? That's fine. I have no problem backstabbing, manipulating, lying to your face. That's kind of the whole reason that I'm here. My only loyalty is to me and winning $100,000. Marty, if you're offering Gino up to me on a silver platter, I have no problem with taking that shot. Is Martin Fernet really going to put Gino up on the block? This could actually create a path for me to find the end game that I want. What a gummy. I mean, dummy. This is what I've been waiting for. Fantastic. Dude. Gina. Are you dumb or are you stupid, bud? Why, if you're not even in the mix, why are you in the mix? I know. It was meant to be. We only need three votes to send Gino home. Betty is already there. Summer, obviously, is already there. Well, that means one more vote. It's Kevin or I, and we hold power yet again. This is unbelievable. Do you think it would be best? If one of us don't turn, so then Marty and, and Jace are like, OK, or Let's no. think about it. I think no. OK.
for someone to do this in week eight is just absolutely absurd. It blows my mind, but I'm not even gonna complain because, hey, I'll probably be here for another week now. As Marty would say, I'm gonna be kicking my feet up for the rest of the week. What? This is a miracle, it right? Is. They don't know about us three, do no, they? Y'all, if we pull this off, nobody knows about it. You okay? I hope I'm okay. Hey, this, this situation sucks. I think that was a fair way. I'm sure that Gino and them are scared. Of course, it's gonna be nervous. It's normal. It takes a big trip and stuff. You know, I can, if Gino walks out of my age range, I can shoot the wow wow when along this game. The ups and downs with Gino and stuff. Like, that would be like the biggest knife in my back. Because I would have turned on Gino a third time. You know what I mean? Like, I trust you. And that's why I'm taking this decision. I'm the, I'm locked in there, so I, you know that. We're good. Everybody's good. All right. So, everything should be okay after the ball. But until then, if Gino sees me talking with Betty and Josh and some, of course he's going to panic. It's going to make everything suspicious, right? So, you need to keep your distance from them for two days. Because they're going to try. Marty! Absolutely. I'm going to lie to your face. I'm going to nod and agree and tell you whatever you need to hear. Become eviction night. I'm doing what's best for my game. Well, like I see, like, just try to. Yeah, I agree. It's a good point. I, I agree. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah! This is fantastic. Gino is on the block. He's probably gonna go home. There's a very scary triple eviction that may or may not happen on Thursday. And frankly, I might have a chance to actually win this game. I love the winter, and the winter loves me. I'm a winter baby in the winter, winter baby in the winter. Who says it's spring when we can have snow? Who says it's spring? No, no, no. I'm a winter baby in the winter. All right, so this is a campaign slash check-in. Let's say one of us does flip. OK, maybe one of you is obviously Mark will be pissed. We'll be coming after all of you. Jake Lynn. Probably would be best too if I was in her shoes. Can't confirm. Yeah, and would end up probably playing on the other side of the house and would be coming after you. And then the other side of the house, obviously, they're coming after her this side. And obviously, now, um, Mark's situation. I know we're all upset. I know you're upset. I know you're upset. You're pissed. I'm pissed. I feel played. And this is the third time I'm being played, so yeah. I'm, I'm raging the inside. He's manipulating us. He's babysitting us. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants it his way, and I'm sure we're all mad about that. Honestly, it's an idiotic HOH spy right now. It really is. And the other side. The way they look at it, Marty's a target, and they're associating both of you guys with him. So who's going to end up on the block in the triple? It's probably all, all three of you guys. Because, like, if I go home, yeah, like, whatever, I go home jury, but, like, think about your game, like, you have the other side. It's against you, Marty's coming against you, she's coming against you. Strategic-wise, it wouldn't make sense. So if we could stay us four tight, honestly, we could push and do whatever we want in this game. You have a win. You have a win. You have a win. I have a win. We proved ourselves that we could actually take things. Mm -hmm. So why ruin it now when we have the option of setting another strong turf on the other side of the house home? What are you thinking? Marty and Summer are gone. We're officially down to the final five. Guys, we're final five. Absolutely wild. As a super fan, this was one of the wildest triple evictions that we've seen on BB Cam. And I got a front row seat to all of it, starting with the first eviction. By a vote of four to one. Gino, I'm sorry you've been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Alina and I lied our faces off. We convinced the five that we were five solid and we would keep Gino, but we turned our backs on them. The house is in disarray and confusion. Gino is evicted and the showmance is no more. There is a three-headed dragon in this house and we all know who it is. 
I have to nominate three people, and I know for a fact that I'm going to be putting up Marty and JC Lynn because they've been coming for me. My first nominee is going to be Marty. My second choice will be JC Lynn. I have to keep Helena and Kevin safe because we're in the crash test dummies together, and I can't put up Betty because that's my ride or die. And so that really just leaves Summer, and I know this is not going to be pretty. My final nominee will be Summer. House guests, the POV competition is about to begin. Liars. You both make me sick. Straight right back at you. How? What have I done to make you sick? Doesn't even make sense. I don't lie straight to people's faces like you do. I know you hate me right now, but we can talk afterwards. I'm just confused. I know, that's fair. No, like, do you have an explanation or not? Yeah, but I don't want to go into it right now. We're currently in a commercial break, waiting for the Power of Veto competition to start, and there are too many fights to keep track of. Why did you lie to me? There's one going on in the Expedia members' lounge. There's one going on in the dining room. There might be another one upstairs. I don't even know where to go, because I want to see every show. I just think it's twisted that you have so many number ones in the game. It doesn't mean anything. Your word means nothing. Yeah. I don't think you know what that means, because it doesn't, the way you act, it doesn't add up. OK, that's fine. I don't want to go into it right now. We can okay. talk about it afterwards. Okay, you're a snake. No, you're being a snake. Okay. Okay. That's, fine. okay. that's fine. Kev, I don't blame you. Helena, I blame you. I, I definitely was was a big part of the decision. No, thank you. I'll take it, dude. No, no, it's but you never told me I'm your number one. Blah blah blah. You can own that, at least. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you're gonna put me up. You're gonna put me up. Okay, then I'm saving it. Helena, oh, where is she? I'm in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Helena? <laughs> He's putting up Betty. You get to save Betty? <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. He's gonna put me up. Are you gonna save me? Yes. Are you gonna yes. Come on. No, we're not. Please, please, I'm freaking out. We're gonna, gonna save you. We're gonna save you. You promise? Yes. You guys promise? It's okay. 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 Don't forget. I promise. I promise. Don't forget. You want to this? I promise. <sighs> Oh my god. Oh my god. We always knew this day would come. Do you get anything? Tea, coffee, a cookie, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe a cookie, yeah, sure. yeah. Okay. It just pains me that both of those snakes will still be in this house. Denise, Summer's not a question mark, whereas Kevin and Alina, they are question marks. Like, they are liars. They will lie to your face. They're working together, and they will straight up tell you whatever you want to hear. Don't you think Betty's going to be pissed at you after you do this? She might be. Definitely. She's crying in the pantry right now. What in the actual f was that about? You okay? Uh, a little bit, but <laughs> if I win HOH, I obviously am, have big decisions to make. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Are you guys all, like, working together or something? No. This is just, I don't know what's going on. No, I literally thought I was going to go up. And I'm like, what the hell? Of course Betty's on to the three of us. She's not stupid. Of course she sees it. But let's go ahead and deny and see how it goes. I can't believe Josh put me up. I'm sorry. I'm I can't still either. on 10 about it. I can't. Like, what the f is this game? But I think he knew that we would save you. I guess there was a Yeah, risk. OK, I would have saved anyone he told me to. It just makes no sense to me. I don't know anything. Yeah. I told you. Yeah, thank you guys. You guys were the people who voted for me to stay. It wasn't a question. Thank it wasn't. You. Josh has kept me and Kevin safe for the second time. This is amazing. For me, it's great. I love it. Thank you, Josh. Pat on the back, bud. But I think you ruined your own game. I don't know. I just became the most hated man in Canada. No, you made really, really tough decisions. It wasn't because you hated people, it was because you were playing the game. I was wondering why you put her up. She's really hurt, she's so upset, but I'll make it for a day. You can't be hated for playing the game. Was it the best move for me? I don't know. This was not a crash test, this was a real collision. This has been one of the most intense nights of all of our lives. We just evicted Gino, Marty, and Summer, and before we have any time to digest it, we're heading into our next HOH comp. I feel like I know my speeches pretty well, and especially with only four people competing, I think I have a good shot. So I'm locked in, I'm focused, and I'm ready to give it my all.
You want to practice? You're who wants to see my HOH? Room? No, I'm just not weird it, like that. All I want to do natural. is see a photo of my parents, hopefully, and that's it, and then go to bed. If you're if you're trying to set the tone of a fun HOH week, it will be fun. Then you got to make your room reveal okay. fun. It will be yeah. fun, but like no stress. It'll be so cool and no, chill. No. So I can speak to anyone about any anything topics. you want. Closed door, open door. Don't even ask me that. It's freaking weird. <laughs> You can even talk to Josh, I don't care. Shh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, so sorry. Uh, no. I'm taking Kev to Wendy's because I'm a little suspicious that Josh and him are working together. Wendy's, I'm so excited. And we are actually due for a date. Yes. Kev. All right. I want to see how close he really is with Josh and what is in his mind moving forward. That spicy chicken looks incredible. All right, let's do that. Ooh, frosty the ov. Obviously, you have to. The side of fries so we can dip them in them? Yes. Done. Done. Let me go get it. OK, I'm so excited. Woo. Ah. So cool. Was it? To Sean. Yeah? Yes. I'm like, gloves off. Like, let's talk, baby. Let's talk. And I'm ready to open up. And, I'm, and if, if you're into it, Betty, like. Final two, baby. <laughs> Helena and I survived the triple eviction. Amazing. As the ghost, we've pulled off some of the biggest moves in the game so far. That said, we have been invisible, so we haven't visibly gotten blood on our hands and we've gotten people to do our dirty work for us. We gotta keep this streak going. Obviously, you saw I got on the block yesterday by somebody yeah. that I would have mm -hmm. tried to get to the end with. And if that didn't happen, I would still be playing my game trying to get to the end with Josh. I'm on the same page as you. I mean, you know I'm also like extremely, extremely close with Josh. Okay. Do you and Josh have something? Are you guys working together? And that's okay if Me you and are. Josh are working together. I also recognize that Josh beats anyone, and if... Straight up, if that's something that you want to do this week, I would be open to it. For sure. The other thing is... I underestimated Jace for a long time. It's him. She now has a veto on the block. She won her safety in the double. And won another safety. She won her safety in the triple. Mm -hmm. Like... That's another person that I think at the end could potentially just sweep it. I do think uh, women, like in these shows a lot of the time, get discredited for the same, like the, the guy makes the move, and it's like, oh, like sick sick move, bro, and, and then the woman makes the move, and it's like, she's a snake. Like, it's, there, there is a double standard. I think, I think she's the strategist. I truly think she's, she's the, she played a huge role being the brains of all the she's played She's played an unbelievable game. She has. Interesting. Well, if I can get one of them out this week, I will feel accomplished. This might be one of the best meals of my life. Hi, can I please get a spicy chicken combo, chicken tenders, a frosty, and also the two people that I want to be nominated on the block? I've been weary of Kevin from the jump, but this conversation just made me realize that he's extremely intelligent. He's very well insulated in this game, and I know I can't trust him. Business B is not oblivious, that's for sure. This is my HOH, and these are my noms. As the ghost, Kevin and I have been working on Betty for a long time. The main focus with Betty has been to make sure she doesn't trust JC Lynn. Tell Josh and Betty about the secret power today. I was gonna ask you that. I really think it's the best idea, too. Let's do it. You know the secret power, Vito? Yeah. Okay. Jace, Gino, they really did make you believe that they wanted Marty out. Jace had the secret power, Vito. It's what we do. I'm not an idiot. I know that Kevin and Helena are working together. They are like this. Yeah. But they're gonna try to go final two together. I swear to God. They've used Marty for the entirety of this game to get them to this point, and now they're gonna try to use the relationships that they have with you two. They're sneaky, they're shady, and they lie straight to your face. They've done it once before, they did it again. Yeah. You okay, B? Yeah. Good job. I just thought it was to the point, it sounds like Josh is the target. Yeah. Yeah, like, I obviously don't want to win. Jace is on the block right now because I don't trust her. She's also a very strong competitor. We're getting to the point in the game where competitions are everything, and I just don't think I can beat her. This game is nuts, but Betty, I appreciate you so much. I'm so excited, and I'm so happy that finally I got here. 
seen you be put up over and over and told you're going up and not go up and told you're going up and not go up and you have the same experience every single week. <laughs> I have these moments of yeah. just absolute gratefulness that I'm here playing this game. I'm so happy. This is amazing. It is. And just to know at the end of this week, I I will know that I got a player out of this game. That makes me feel so good. Like, yeah. Let's go, be We can do it. I know we just need to win these coughs, dude, right now. More than ever, no one can take us to the end. I'm going to eat and study. OK, sounds good. Good job. Talk soon. Helena and I are in a really good position. If these noms stay the same, the ghosts will have all the power because only two people are voting this week, and currently those two people are Helena and me. We make the decisions about who stays and who goes, and this is only because of all the work that Helena and I have put in with Betty to make sure that she likes us and she wants to keep us safe. Helena. How are there? Can you possibly imagine this? Yeah. I'm really honest, I, I survived the triple I haven't had the block yet. Oh, it's literally the best gauge of how good of a player you are. Yeah, it is because good. you're the best player. <laughs> I remember when we were talking, and you were like, you want to be my writer? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure, let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. And, we're, do and we're doing it. I would have passed away in the game without you. I know, we helped each other, dude. We helped each other, always have each other's back. Like, I think we are good game players. You don't see ghosts. No. They're invisible. It's insane. There's a wiki page. There's a wiki page on the ghosts. And hopefully it, gets, it keeps getting updated. The winner and the runner up. You know? Mm hmm. I hope so. That would be pretty cool. It would be. Hey, a loser. I'm a fan of five, so. There's only 45 people in the world that can say that. No pressure. But if JC Lynn wins the veto today, one of us will be going home. Oh, if she's ready. How is Jace feeling this morning? Yeah, she's ready to rock. She's already showered. She had the best sleep. She's a machine. She is. Probably the favorite going into this, but let's let's upset that. Let's do it. Let's do it. We can do this. Yesterday was hectic, but something was bugging me all night. I think Kevin is a much bigger problem than I thought. And I'm noticing that he's always in my ear at the perfect time. Also, Jace was telling me about Kev and Helena having a final two. Okay. I'm on to him. I really do want you to win the veto. Like, I want it so bad. Kevin's in game mode, but... Kevin is incredibly smart. Everything that's happening right now makes me... It just... It just... Everything's just I see clearly. You know, he's a very smart guy. Really wants to get to day 70. He's doing whatever it takes, and he's sitting extremely pretty in this game. Yeah. I asked him, did you tell Josh to not put up Alina? He was like, yeah. And then the second that I won HOH, he was in here already in my ear, knowing that I was mad at you because I was saying, Josh is my number one guy. You know, I can't believe he did this. He's like, Josh told me I'm his number one guy. In that moment, I'm already fired up. I'm emotional. But it was just very, wow. yeah. It just made so much sense because he's protecting Helena, obviously, until the end. I know they have a final two. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't think about that now. No, but I'm just like that's probably why he wants the POV so bad. Yes, exactly because he's to comfortable sending you home too. Oh, this man wants to send me home. Yeah. Last night. Yeah, it's bad. That's why when I woke up this morning, I'm like, I've got to be friends with Josh again. <laughs> I want to go cuss him out right no, now. Don't. I, I, I didn't mean to throw you off your game. No, this is good. 
Because before I'm anxious, but now I'm pissed, which is better. I thought Marty was the villain. I feel very played by Kevin, but at this point, I have to keep it cool. I have the POV coming up. I'll win the POV. Kevin will go up next to JC Lynn, and we can send this guy home. Kevin has to go. You got this. Show Canada who you are. I'd love to win this veto. My game has not been really visible. It's been very strategic, and it's been a ghost game. I've been behind the scenes. So if I can get a win or two this late in the game, I might have a much better case to plead to a jury. Ow. I think I have the first three right, so I'm just going to guess the last two and see if I'm correct. Betty, let's go to the big city. If I'm not, I can just swap them, and then I will be correct. Check. Check. Oh. That's a fishing rod, if I've ever felt a fishing rod. Come on. Fishing trip, let's switch those. Check. This has got to be it, right? Check. Check, please. I finally finished the first part of this comp, and now I just need to do this puzzle. In fourth place, with a time of 33 minutes and 49 seconds, Kevin. I am so happy for Alita. The ghosts have the veto, and we own the votes. We own all the power. I'm not good at comps. I'm just not. So I need people, and I have people. Did it. <laughs> I did it. Oh my gosh. Now that Helena's won the veto, I think it's pretty unlikely that she'll use it and force Kevin on the block. So now I have to fully re embrace the crash test dummies because they have all the power this week and the votes I need to be safe. Yes, yes, yes. You can't, you can't, sir. You came through big. The POV ceremony went just as planned. The ghosts continue to put in all the hard work and run the game. Helena and I are sitting pretty going into the final four. We own the only two votes this week. This is fantastic. I would die in here if you were here. I would actually die. This is a really tough one. Mm-hmm. I know it is. Kevin and I always discuss what's best for us, and this is a big decision. So weighing the pros and cons of JC Lynn and Joff are a big deal. I think keeping JC Lynn is better for my game, because if I can't take myself to the final, there's a high chance she would take me. I could see, like, keeping Josh. You still feel it 100% right now? I'd be lying to you if I said 100%. The personal aspect of it is vlogging. Yeah my decision. Helena is on the fence, but my mind is made up. I want to keep Josh. Josh is best for my game. Helena can think what she wants right now, but eventually I'm going to pull her in and I'm going to get her to vote the way that I think is best for me. I think Josh gives us the, a better chance to sit together in the finals. He told me this is the only thing I'm loyal to. And I buy it. Doesn't share any of that with me. What is every decision? Keep Josh or flipping the drink ceiling. I know what I think, but uh, we need to make a decision together. What you, you think keep Josh? I think keep Josh. What do we do, Canada? What do the ghosts do? Well, it's us two that have the power to make this decision. And we're going to make it together and we're going to do it. Yes, we're going to make it together. It's worked out for the both of us. Why can't it now? Hey there. <laughs> The fact that he played everyone and got here and literally winning one POV. Yeah. It blows my mind. Him being like, I need help, I need help. And now he's like, I can't do this anymore. I'm losing my mind. 
<laughs> I think Kevin is an extremely shady player, and he will say whatever he needs, whether that be a lie or not, in order to get further in this game. And I think that every move that he's made thus far is extremely suspect. He was working the shit out of Marty. Okay. Everyone in his house. Mm -hmm. He knew that Gino liked his like weird, quirky, authentic side. Mm -hmm. I loved him. He knows Jace likes his outbursts. He's like the most manipulative person I've ever met in my existence. Literally me too. Is he actually married? I was actually wondering if his, her name is actually Jillian. <laughs> I know his name's Kevin, but <laughs> he us against each other. Yeah, you got away with it. Almost. It Why didn't so you see weird. this last time? I don't know. Here I am being like, hey, dude, like. <laughs> He's so cute. I have a crush on him. In my bed, I'm like, no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, though. At the end of the day, Betty and I are strong again, and we realize the game that Kevin's been playing, and we think we have caught on, and hopefully it's not too late for the both of us. I still want him to think that I don't know a lot. Yeah. Like, about him, yeah. because I think he knows we're figuring it out. You think? Yeah. Why do you think that? I'm less like, oh, Kevin, you're so sweet. Now I'm like, yeah. Kevin. But I don't think he cares about that anymore. Why he's upset is because he wants to win this game. He wants to be number one. He knows it's impossible if he doesn't win a competition. And he only has three more chances. So that's why he's stressed out. I know. Are we going to flip flop for the next 72 hours? I don't think so. I don't think so either. So yeah, let's do it. Let's 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 stay loyal. Let's keep Josh. And then let's get his out next, so next week. And if he wins Agent Rage, let's make sure it's Ben. Are we shaking yeah, on it? We're shaking on it. Kevin is someone who's become an actual friend, a confidant. He is somebody I trust, I can unapologetically be myself with. I did not expect to find a best friend, let alone a, another brother, that I've just met literally two months ago. I think at this point, we're two of the best players here. We deserve to be here. Yeah. Okay. I appreciate it. OK, love you. Love you. And you know those words I do not say lightly, by the way, at all? I'm a tairakri on you, this office. You're what? A tairakri. Do you know what that is? A, a rakri. It's a string on your wrist. You tie it on your brothers, and you wish them, like, good happiness, health, wealth, everything. Yeah. Kev, you're my brother from another mother. You bring out the best in me, and you bring out the worst in me, and I love you for it. I love you. You're my friend. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Do the damn thing. <laughs> Up. Kev is a tough nut to crack. I know this week is going to be an absolute uphill battle to ensure that I stay here this week. I don't think many people here know how good you are at the game. You're one of the best at strategy in the house. Thank you. So. Thank you. That's, that's really not how I ever looked at it, so that's really interesting to hear from you. <laughs> so yeah, right, right now, like I'm leaning towards keeping Josh because I think you beat anyone at the end of the game. I think your game is that good. That means a lot, like what you're saying. It does mean a lot. It sucks to hear. It's kind of where I thought this conversation would go. Yeah. But yeah, it sucks to hear, obviously. Yeah. Just because it's like, it's coming this far. And it's like, I just want to see the red door open so I know, bad. I know. You know what I mean? It's so frustrating. But the way that you're looking at it is different from the way I'm looking at it. I know how deep your relationship is yeah. with Josh, but I just want to make it very clear yeah. that Josh has been on the block four or five times now. Every single time, he has stayed almost unanimously. I think there's a reason for that. Most of those people that he's built these relationships with are in jury. I think Josh knows exactly what to say to people to pull on their emotions. He knows he's very good at what he does. You know what I mean? Like, even with Betty, I feel like they're kind of back together. He does have a good chance of winning HOH, yes. and I don't think he would ever put Betty up on the block again. So you and Helena right there. But like, we have a freaking opportunity to get out the drive. Betty's on her own. One of us wins POV. We have the power to vote Betty out. We are now final three. You're actually making like some really, really good points right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let okay. me. Okay. Okay. You, you gotta you gotta talk to Helena. Thanks for the chat. 
J.C. Lynn really knows what she's talking about. I went into this conversation ready to send her home, and now I'm not so sure. Jume is really good for him. Goodness. Uh... Are you there in person? Hi. 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 We only have five minutes. Okay. You look amazing. Hi. Hi. I miss you so much. How are you? Uh, unbelievable. How are you? I miss you more than anything in the world. Look, You're I like... got it. I'm wearing a fake ring. <laughs> I ordered it. <laughs> I know that everyone's really healthy and happy and yes. just everyone's watching you. Yeah? Yeah. I've been loving hearing all of your songs and everything. <laughs> everyone's like, is he really like that? I'm like, worse. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going anywhere again when you get home. So. Yeah, you, you can lock me in. <laughs> you better just enjoy it. I'll be home soon. I know. I I'm going to try and win this thing. Yeah. And then we'll spend every second together, right? Yeah. Forever? Yeah, forever. OK, good. We could maybe do this thing for real. Yeah, don't propose right now. Th I no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Um, but but I, I love you so much. And... I love you so much. I've missed you every second. I don't want to go, but we have to go. Okay. Thank you for coming. Goodbye. I'm incredibly lucky to have met someone like Jillian. And I'm so lucky that I get to be here and I get to do this thing. You got me, big brother. You got me crying. It's not that hard, but you got me. <laughs> I think I've spoken to both of you now. And I said to Kev yesterday, I wanted to have a chat like us three. Kevin and Alina are complete snakes. They've lied directly to my face twice. I need to do whatever I need to do. They're the only votes this week. Therefore, my entire game is in their hands. I'm not playing emotionally, and I'm just thinking about what's strategic. Of course, I can sit here and I can be angry at both of you for blunt enemy, yada, yada, yada. But I'm just moving forward, thinking everything through. It just makes sense for me to go with you two. I've never wanted to play the game with either of them. I still don't want to play the game with either of them. And I know we do have to think about Final Two, but we also have to think about getting there. Sure. Like, Josh is not an easy guy to get out either. We've been trying all season. He might be the hardest guy to get out. Yeah. You clearly want to go to the Final Three with the two of us. And oh I think you see how big of a threat that is. You see how big of a threat Josh is. And they've just been working us. Like, I feel like we're just getting worked yeah. out here. Keeping Josh is just letting them stay together. You're handing her the game, potentially, if you let her keep her number one. It's like letting me keep Gino. Would you do that? No. You didn't. No. You literally didn't. No. So it's the same thing. <laughs> you're, you're, you're letting her keep her number one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good argument. That is a good point. I'm really messing with my head. <laughs> Damn you, JC Lynn. I'm stating the packs. Can I talk to Kev? Of course. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Love you guys. been able to flip us the entire game. My head is telling me keep JC Lynn. Yeah. My heart is telling me keep Josh. My head says keep Jace. Maybe I got manipulated by a, a really good 24-year-old. Jace needs to go. Like, Jace needs to go. <laughs> Everyone in jury hates me. I think the only person you might have a chance of beating right now is me. And I think you believe that. Would you throw me the final HOH if you knew I was taking you over Helena? If I knew you were taking me over Helena, yeah. would I throw it to you? Yeah. That's a serious question. Hi, sorry. Hey, Helena. Hi, Helena. Um. So should we evict Josh or no? What's your vibe? What's my vibe? My vibe? I'm gonna 
myself. <laughs> it's pissing me off right now that Kevin and Helena think this is just some fun joke to talk about evicting me when they know that I'm trying to fight for my life in this game and how hard I've worked for our team to even get here. <laughs> what do you think about throwing the HOH to me or Helena? <laughs> it would definitely go to one of you. Hmm. I don't think anybody's ever done that. There's a first for everything. You're down? You're fully down? Yeah. Amazing. Wow. We're doing this damn thing, eh? Yeah, we're gonna do it. The fact that these two believe me right now is truly hilarious. I'm lying through my teeth, and you know what? Not only am I gonna win the next HOH, but when I do, I'm throwing their asses onto the block. Oh my gosh. JC Lynn, I am going to miss you. <laughs> There are two things I need you to know, though. Okay. One, Helena and I have had a final two since the beginning of the game. Two, uh, when the size of the house were formed, I had the idea to make a secret group of three with us and Josh to protect us all. You almost got me to flip on it this week because you are that good at this game. I know I can't <laughs> win sitting beside you at the end, and that's why I had to send you home. Uh. I am so relieved that Kevin and Helena kept their word and voted for me to stay. Who actually would have picked this final four? Nobody would have. It's great for me, but it's bad for them. What they don't know is that me and Betty were able to rekindle our relationship, and we are stronger than ever right now, and we are coming for the both of them. This is the final four. This is the final four. This is the whole entire house right now. I can't believe it. Three final four. Oh, my. <laughs> Helena and I had all the power this week, and we went back and forth about whether to keep Josh or JC Lynn, but eventually we said we were sending home JC Lynn because we could trust Josh more. Plus, Josh promised that he would throw the final four HOH comp. We held up our end of the bargain. Now it's his turn. Final four. I can do this. You can do this, Helena. No. Let's go get a win. I can do this. You can do this. I'm pretty sure the third person is throwing it to us, so I'm pretty sure we, one of us will. We don't, we don't know. We don't know. We, we can do this. We can. Let's go. Let's go in. I love that everybody hates us. And I love it. As we do, I love it. I freaking love it. I cannot wait to sit in that final spot with you. Like, actually, the best duo here. This mysterious red door has been counting down the hours all season. Based on my calculations, it is going to hit zero tomorrow morning. I'm pretty sure there is something big behind this door. Maybe related to the next HOH comp, maybe it's a twist, maybe it's a secret power. Whatever it is, I'm prepared. Can you my bed? I'm sleeping in the room that's closest to the stairs. I've got my shoes tied and ready, and as soon as that thing opens, I am going to jolt towards it. What are you doing? Kevin's trying to sleep. I don't even normally sleep in this room, but I am tonight because the other three house guests are in it, and I'm positioning myself closest to the doors. <laughs> I am ready to be the first one there. Oh my god, Kevin. I can't with you. I have no idea what could be behind that big red door. I thought about a big beast. He's very hairy. He has giant claws, and he eats one of us. And that's how we decide on the final three. The biggest gap in my game right now is comp wins. So if I can practice for this HOH comp, I'm doing it as much as I'm allowed to. Josh and Helena practiced a little bit, but they gave up pretty quickly. Come on, Helena, we have the chance to practice for this huge comp. What are you doing? You can secure your spot in the final three, and you have the chance to practice, and you go back to bed. I don't understand. Well, they'll take in your time. Don't freak, just stay calm. Congratulations, Kevin. You are the new HOH. Congratulations, Kevin. You are the new HOH. Congratulations, Kevin. You are the new HOH. Until this point in the game, I've been playing behind the scenes. A lot of people don't know that I've been pulling the strings, and that's not necessarily a game that a jury can see. 
I need another win, and this HOH is a great place to start. Knowing that Josh is throwing this is great because it's just Helena and me, and I have a good chance to win. I need this one. I'm taking it home. This is awesome. This is sick. <sighs> Josh gets his second point, and now I'm mad. He's clearly not throwing it. I know I got played. I just have to try and win this thing. A lot of people in my position would give up, but I am not doing that. I am fighting for my life. Josh, you are the head of I got overconfident. I believed Josh that he would do the incredibly stupid thing and throw the final four HOH. That's on me. And now I got to deal with the results. Oh. Uh, congrats. Thank you. Anyone want toast? No. I'm going to go warm up in Expedia. I, just, I feel super played. I feel very played. Were you at all serious about doing that or no? I was, and then I started it, and I was like, I think I could win this easily. I feel, I feel very played. Are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad at all. I fully get it. You, you, I don't think you, you didn't get played, Kat. You didn't get played. Go to a room and yell at each other? Sure. Okay, let's go. Well, I don't know. What can you do? You're gonna hit me if you want. <laughs> I shouldn't have believed you. <sighs> I don't believe you for one second that you were fighting to throw it. I was. I have nothing no, you to weren't. lose. I'm just mad at myself for believing you. In that moment, I was just like, this is easy for me to win. I'm absolutely guaranteed my safety. I always knew Josh could do this. It's just a tough pill to swallow when you're the victim. Oh my god. You got me so bad. And, and, and you played for me, and you played for Felina. I'm actually more honest than you, which is, I've never said that sentence to anyone here. Congratulations. You've manipulated the manipulator. Okay, I need to go through the scenarios. Okay. I forgive you if you put up me and Betty. I don't wanna I don't wanna be beside Helena. That that'll make me really upset. Because then it's just like this whole thing has just been a lie and I just got played for 30 days. Kevin, I'm not playing you. I guess my question is, if you were lying about that, how am I supposed to trust you? I just don't get what makes it a lie. You didn't go through with it. Am I not allowed to change my mind? You are allowed. You just have to deal with me being upset about it. And I said, I'm OK with you being upset. OK, great. <sighs> Where is Helena? I'm right here. <sighs> We're so dumb. You really think we got played? Yeah. He lied. Yeah. She's just... playing us. We, we, we got a taste of our own medicine. I didn't fully put you back. I didn't fully believe it either. If Betty takes Josh, if she, you know what I mean, if that happens, she knows she's taking second place, though. Anyone sitting next to Josh, anyone's going to take second place. Look, he, I think he just won. I think he probably just won the game, but there's still hope. There's still hope. He is smart. He is so smart. He is. He probably knew that we'd cut him also. Kind of nice, though, that, like, if this is the way we go out, we got a taste of our own medicine. We weren't invisible to the one man. Damn. Damn. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's going on? What a handsome guy. Yeah. Look at those work, sharp angles. Work that I'm camera, boo. <laughs> <laughs> This actually feels like royalty. I'm unbelievably flattered. I knew I was a king, but now Big Brother Canada is acknowledging it, which is nice. Last award, everyone. Raise a glass. The nominees for most jaw-dropping moment are Kevin's self-eviction fake out yes. and <laughs> Stephanie's eviction blindside. Oh, oh yeah. that's a good one. Let's check it out. I love you all. Have... No way.
Love you, love you. See you soon. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, don't. I regret it. Just kidding. Watching my reaction to Kevin's fake eviction is so embarrassing to me. I feel like I cry so much in this house. I didn't do it. I, I know. Oh, cute. Okay, well, let's see what Canada thinks. The award goes to Kevin self eviction. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. I do really trust you, though. I don't think I trust Kevin. I think he was upset because. For him, if I were to look at it, like, he has one competition win. Did he talk to a lot of people in jury? I don't know. I think that he's a manipulator. I never know with this guy. Like, he lied, he manipulated, he, he bounced around with whoever had power, he pretended to be weak, and I think that he is a villain. I think a lot of people played his game and didn't even realize it. That's it, too. And then now they're gone. Exactly. Because it was all for him. Exactly. Hi. Are you ready? Yep. OK. Is that what you want? Noms are coming up really fast. My brain is broken. I'm not thinking straight. Josh just manipulated both of us. I don't know what I want the noms to be. I am in a fog. I think there are pros and cons of it, but you OK with it? I'm really not thinking straight at all. Like, I, he broke me this morning. Why? I, just, I don't know. I'm just not thinking straight. Do you want me to go up? No. Do you, or do you want you to go up? Because I can flip him in, in five minutes. I have an idea if you want me to. I just don't know what the right decision is. I'll just let him stay here now, so. We don't have enough time until the ceremony. I'm, I'm totally thrown off. I'm not on my game, and I haven't been for a couple days here. Hi. What's up, my guy? I spent a lot of the game making people feel like they can trust me and then turning on them. Josh did the same thing to me. At this point, I am not thinking straight at all. What are you thinking right now? You and Betty. Cool. What's the reason? To be honest, it's really just for Helena. I just don't want to ruin her record. You're playing, so the noms actually matter. The only time the power of veto actually matters. Like... I can't be put up. Right, but if you win, then... But if you, if you win, you're still playing on something. Would you... Would you evict Helena? My boy Kevin is just spinning around in circles. Oh, how the tables have turned, Kevin. You no longer have power and control like you used to, and this week, I'm the one that gets to make the decisions. If you put me and Helena, I'm out of you, because it seems like this whole thing was planned, and you fully turned on the three. I kind of like seeing Kevin like this. It's about time that he feels the heat in this game. Josh, you broke my brain today. Like, I'm actually, like, all over the list. Like, how do I, like, I just, like, I do feel like you want to go with us to the three, because just Betty can just beat anybody. But all the power is, it's if you break Kalina's streak. OK, what does your crash test dummy brain say? It's broken. You broke it. It just felt like a weird, unnecessary lie. Are you saying I'm a manipulator? Oh, yeah. I hate that word. My first nominee is... Kevin. My second nominee is... Betty. I've chosen to nominate you, Kevin, because I think it's important for us to fight for our place in this game, and I hope you do just that in the next POV. I've chosen to nominate you, Betty, because I think you're more than capable of winning the power of veto and taking yourself off the block. Thank you, boo. This nomination ceremony is complete. It's been a while. It's nice to be back on the block. I forgot how it feels. In hindsight, we probably should have kept JC Lynn. Helena and I made a mistake. That said, I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm going to keep fighting for my life in the game. 
Josh put me on the block, but it's not really that big of a deal. I probably could have kept myself off the block, which would have been a good case at the end of the game. But I overworked my brain for 60 days and have been making poor decisions for a few. And hey, if I, if I win the veto, then boom, I took myself off the block at Final Four. I'm so overtired. I'm having such bad thoughts. I can see it on your face. Yeah. How do you feel right now? No, I feel really, I feel really bad. I don't care. Well, We're not giving up yet. We're not. And you know what? Also, think of the positive. If she wins, she's going to take you. And I don't get why you wouldn't be happy about that. Leah, I don't want to be here without you. I'm, I'm, I'm one of the biggest, like, liar manipulators in the game, and I'm completely wrapped around your finger. You do no. know that, right? You do know that. Yeah, same, though, dude. Right now, I want you to think of your game, and your game is you have good chances still. You know, going to three, Josh will for sure take you. Yeah. No, I think I'm in a lot of scenarios people are taking me to the finals. Oh, 100%. I just would prefer you to be the one to take me to the finals, or me be the one to take you, you know? Yeah, I know. One of us going to win the game. I don't know. We're going to book our yeah. We are. Like, We've done it before. We can do it again. I don't understand. We can. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be good. I actually can win this. I believe in myself. If I win the POV, I'm safe. I take myself off the block. I evict Betty. Cool. here is good at competitions. I'm probably the worst, but every dog has its day, and I've got a big bark. Jack. Okay. So from the middle, you go out one, two, okay. systematic, I guess. Damn it. What is going on? It's super frustrating because I know I'm going to know the answers to these questions, but I just can't find these damn sewer grates. There it is. Come on. No. Damn it. I'm starting to get really disoriented. I'm visiting the same sewer grates over and over. There are so many different pathways to take, and it's difficult. I've been here. I've done this one. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, I'm lost. I am wasting so much time looking for these grates. The one there. That's the thing. Come on, I'm ready. Check. Once you figure out that the sewer grates are on the outside of the maze, go! Go! Then the answers are in the center. Ah! You can be much more logical about how you move around. Moose, come on! Check! That was brutal. In third place, with a time of 36 minutes and 39 seconds, Kevin! Joshy. What up? What's up? Well, this is Big Brother. Yeah. Good. What's the plan? I don't know yet. Really? I need to think through it in my head right now. OK. Do you want to talk, or do you want me to leave? No, I think I need to do it alone. OK. Hey. Yeah? If it's me, I'm just going to walk out. I'm obviously not going to say anything about, like, 
It's how not hard, gonna be you. How it's hard not gonna I'm going to go with Najir. It's not going to be you. He's going to do the right thing. We're going to crash this dummy. He's like, are you kidding me? He can win against us. He can't win against Betty. He needs to know that. Yeah, but if there's anything we've learned, it's that people think with their emotions, not, not logically. You're not going. I'm not going. I'm OK if I do. No, no. It's and if I stay, we're going to keep fighting. Exactly. I hope he realizes it's the good are we doing it? Are we doing the crash test? It's just tell us. It's okay. I just want to think about things. Okay. It's like half an hour. It's one of us. Yeah. Great. I've been in this house for 64 days. Helena and I have been in an alliance for 63 of those. I am not ready for the ghost to be over. We made a vow to get to final two, and we are going to fight until the bitter end. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, this is hard. This is the hardest decision I've made in this game. Probably top three hardest decision I've made in my life. How can I help? I think you know me well enough. Yeah. If you were me, what would you do? I'd evict Betty. I, I think you're overthinking it. I think you're going to win one of the first two HOH comps, and then you have to beat someone in trivia. And I think she's historically been the best at it. Tied in Chopper Showcase, one shred that letter. Like, <sighs> what's holding you back? I don't know what's even holding me back. Is the fact that I can see Betty winning. If you were in the jury and you had to vote between me and Betty, who would you pick? I love the underdog story. I love both your stories, but her story is the underdog story, Josh. She's been on the block five times, five times. The underdog who then starts winning at the end, that's the story people want. Like, are you thinking about your relationship right now? I know you love her so much. I do too but she's played an amazing game and you have to think about your family and about how much this money means. She's gonna love you no matter what. She told me she wants you at her wedding. You're not killing a relationship. You're making the right decision for Josh. I think you and Helena would take each other to final too. That's not correct. I'm losing to Helena. I'm losing to you too. And I'm picking you over her. I'm not winning the game. I want you to win because you deserve it, because you carried yourself well. It's up to you, Josh. Me and Helena have never had final two. We've always been to the three. We're going to do it. You've never been on the outside the entire game. I believe that. And we can be one of the greatest alliances of all time if you make the right decision. Hey. Can, we, can we do this? Is it me going home? I don't know. I know your personal relationship with Betty. I get that. I get you and Kev are close. I get that. I'm very likely taking Josh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's good to you. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. <laughs> that is fine. That's completely fine. Just give me the shot. You, you will win against me. Her only case is not touching the block. That's her only case. Use the veto on me. Then Helena goes up. Helena's winning chances. Take a huge nosedive. I will vote to evict Betty. We are in the three. You have an amazing chance against either of us. And do whatever you need to do. Take each other. I don't care. I knew I wouldn't win this game. Let's do it. Josh, you're going to win if you cut Betty. Like, I just don't understand. I feel like they're going to turn on it. Yeah, we second. can all chat in here. Yeah. I mean, one of you three are going to be leaving today. I feel absolutely awful because I feel close with all three of you. 
I just want to win this game in a way that I feel like I'll at least walk away with some sort of integrity. We're all gonna like and love you no matter what. You're not killing a, you're not killing a relationship either way. You're not gonna evict one of us, and so we're gonna walk out and be like goodbye forever, Josh. That's just not happening. So you gotta do what's best for you, and you gotta be selfish. And if you're not, that's personal on yourself and the people you love. So you gotta do what's best for you. We don't have a lot of time. It's just those two. I can't decide between them. I don't think Kevin deserves to win this game. But not doing anything that isn't lock and step with what also works for you. Alina's a really strong competitor. And she has two POVs. She wins the age wage competition. She has a good chance of winning the game. She's never been on the block. Kevin's not a strong competitor. Not good at all. What has he done in this game that is deserving of $100,000? Sit next to Kevin, you're winning the game. But it's also like, are we going to keep someone evil in here? <sighs> we have Helena, who's the better player and is deserving. We have Kevin, who's not the better player and isn't deserving. Yeah. So we could beat Kevin. It might be a slippery slope with Helena. What matters more? Can I talk to you? Yes. What's up, my friend? OK, so if it's me going, I want you to fight. I want you to pitch that, you know what? Josh would not be in the block. Betty would not be saved if it wasn't for you. you where the most run everything, you need to pitch that really, really, really fucking hard. Do you understand that? And you have to keep fighting. You will beat them. I'm telling you, I will advocate for your injury. I think it's me. If it is, it's you me. do the same. I'm going to war. And you've been nothing but amazing. And uh, I just, I just want, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else can I say? I'm not going to get emotional. Don't oh, worry. We're good. No. And you, you literally just pitch everything. Do you understand that? You're one of the best, Dad. So are you. It's good. We made a decision together. We made every decision together, OK? I want you to know that. Dude, I didn't think you and I would get close as we did. You literally my rock, my fire die in this game. This, this has been the most fun I've ever had. I know. It's been a wild ride. Literally, the best. Like, I would never, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything at all. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Alina's the only person I actually ever trusted in the game, and to find that in this paranoid, screwed-up house is out of control. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, it's... <sighs> I will use the power of veto on... Betty. Thank you. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. OK. This decision has nothing to do with you as a person. This is strictly game, and I truly believe that you played the better game. I wish you nothing but the best. I'm sorry, but I have to vote to evict you, Helena. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, that's OK. I'm so that's sorry. Okay. Helena, I'm sorry. You have been that's evicted okay. from the Big Brother Canada house. Sorry. It's OK. Good luck. Good luck. If anyone would take me out, I'm glad it's you. Sorry. Sorry. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. But it's OK. It's OK. You guys are all amazing, amazing people. I'm so thankful to have played this game with you. God, I got to represent Surrey, I got to represent Punjabi girls, I got to represent everything. I'm proud of myself. Bye, BB Can.
This is epic. I feel like a hero in this mystical, fantastical land, and I'm ready to rock. From the moment I walked into this house, I've been underestimated. The other house guests looked at me and thought, oh, this guy can't win. He has no chance. He's a goofball. He's a nerd. But here I am at the final three with a real chance to go all the way and win the title. My stack isn't working. I have to figure this out. Helena and I had one of the strongest alliances in BB Can history, and Betty and Josh ruined it. I want my revenge. It's time for payback. Me to finale night. Yeah! Let's go! Okay. Come on! I'm one step closer to solidifying my place in the final two and choosing who I get to sit beside. we feeling about our man Kevin? I love Kevin's game. Unpredictable, played the oddball character. You never knew what he was gonna do. He was loyal when he needed to be. He was manipulative when he needed to be. But like, he didn't win comps. Like, he hasn't yeah, won okay. comps. And what if he doesn't win another comp for the rest of it and he won one competition? Kevin is a mastermind. He thinks 10 steps ahead, but knows to bring it back to step one and take it day by day. Kevin's an amazing player. I said it from the start. Just, just his character. Like, I, I'm, I'm looking to find the person that's going to present the season the best, and I can't imagine it wouldn't be Kevin. Welcome to your final head of household competition. Since the jury will ultimately decide the winner of Big Brother Canada, let's find out how much you know about them. I will read questions about the members of the jury. The answer will be either A or B. If you're correct, you'll earn a point. Whoever has the most points at the end of seven questions will be the winner. If we're all tied up at the end of seven questions, we'll move to sudden death. Kevin, Josh, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Let's begin. Here is your first question. In the safety competition, Warped Bowling, which juror had a higher score? Was it A, JC Lynn, or B, Gino? The correct answer is B, Gino. Josh, you are correct and have earned a point. Next question. How many jurors were a nominee on day 55? Was it A, four, or B, five? The correct answer is A, four. You're both correct and have earned points. Here is your third question. Combined, did the jurors win more head of household competitions or power of veto competitions? Answer A for HOH, B for POV. The correct answer is B, POVs. You're both correct and have each earned a point. Josh, you're in the lead with three points. Here's your fourth question. How many jurors were evicted on an odd day? Was it A, four, or B, five? 
Kevin, we need an answer. The correct answer is A, four. Kevin, you are correct and have earned a point. You're now all tied up. Here is the fifth question. Was Moose nominated for the third time before or after Marty won his third head of household competition? Answer A for before or B for after. The correct answer is A, before. You're both correct and have each earned a point. Here's your sixth question. On what day did more jurors cast an eviction vote? Was it A, day 41, or B, day 48? The answer is A, day 41. You are both correct and have each earned a point. You're both tied with five points each. Here is your final question. Over the course of the season, how many times was the POV used on a member of the jury? Was it A, four, or B, five? The correct answer is B, five. You are both correct. That means you're all tied up and we're moving on to sudden death. The first person to answer incorrectly will be eliminated. Next question. How many power veto competitions did both JC Lynn and Helena compete in together? Was it A, three, or B, four? The correct answer is B, four. You are both correct. <laughs> Good job, Kev. Josh, this is wild! Kevin and Josh, you're all tied up. Get out your chalkboards. We're going to a tiebreaker question. The answer will be a number, and the person closest to that number, without going over, will be the winner. What else could you ask for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you both go over, the person closest will be the winner. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Here we go. In hours. How long were each of the jurors in the Big Brother house combined? We do need an answer. Kevin, hold up your answer, please. What incredible competitors you both are. The correct answer is 8,936 hours, which means congratulations, Josh. Yes. You are the final HOH for season 10. Oh my God. That's awesome, congratulations. What? <laughs> congratulations. Wow, great work, Kevin, that's awesome. Oh. This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make in this game. There's someone who's been by my side the whole time. We've battled it out. They've honestly played the best game here, I think. And I think they give me the most fighting chance against the jury. So I'm going to have to vote to evict. My best friend, Betty. Oh. Are you serious? Thank you, Josh. Oh. Betty, you have been evicted from the Big Brother Canada house. Kevin. Congratulations on making it to final two. Uh, my question is, you, use, you hold your, heart, your cards close to your chest, uh, you never, but you gotta show your hand. Um, what was your game-defining move and why? Herman, let me show you all my cards right now. Day two, Helena and I made a ride or die, shared every piece of information. Day 34, the house is splitting into sides. I didn't want to hope that someone on my side won HOH. I said, Helena, we need a pull in Josh. That gave me safety for the rest of the game. We made a final three, and from then on, I had safety no matter what happened. That's my game defining move. You were on to me and Helena, and that's why I wanted you out. <laughs> Kevin. All I really want to know is why was Josh the better move for your game over me and when we were one move away from bringing our alliance to the final five? Gee, 
You had the two best HOHs of the season. It's a double-edged sword. If you do that, you have to go. You told me going into the triple, if I voted you out, I would have a 4-2 chance of surviving. By flipping, I had a 5-1 chance as long as Jason won HOH. If you want your game represented in the winner, G, I was in the five. I love the five. Choose me, and I love you. Love you too, Kev. All right, first of all, congrats to both of you uh, to make it to final two. Uh, Kevin, uh, when you won veto, you told me it was my call if you were gonna use it or not. If I would have told you not, not to use it uh, and keep noms the same, would you have done so? No. And why? No, I wouldn't. Part of my game was making other people feel like their moves my moves were their moves. So I wanted you to feel like you used the veto on Josh. I wanted Summer to feel like she moved the veto on Josh. Before I participated in that comp, I knew no matter what, I was using the veto on Josh and I had to make everybody else feel like I could be influenced. It wasn't me. So no, I would have still used it. Hi, Ghosty! I am so happy to see you sitting in final two. But before special eviction, did you know Josh was going to send me home? No, I didn't, and I fought till the last second, and I would have given my game away from you. I was loyal to you and no one else from day two. I told you every piece of information because I trusted you 100%, and that was my plan coming in. Find my ride or die, do whatever I need to do for them. I didn't know, and I fought till the last second. Okay, awesome. Kevin, it's your turn. I woke up on day seven, I sat on those couches and I looked out at this house and I was thankful. Cause I know walking in with these glasses, you're a super fan, you're a villain, you're a schemer and it all would have been true. I had to lie through my teeth from day one, downplay my threat level, show up week four to Gito's HOH with the suit on to be funny, to make myself seem like I'm not a big deal. When the sides of the house happened, I earned my safety. I was good no matter what. So here it is, Herman, you were the biggest threat to my game. Moose, we're hitting all the concerts. Do it for Toronto, baby. Summer, you want an underdog to win? That's me, Gino, Jace, Marty, for the five. If you want the five in the winner, that is me. Alina, I would give away my game for you. Betty, I've had a final two with Josh since day 30. Summer, it was planned for you to go on the block of the triple. I'm the strategist. I'm not the athlete. If you want the comp, that's him. I'm behind the strategy. Alina, my final two was with you. I would cut Josh. Don't worry about it. I saw that face. Love you. All, no matter which way you go, this has been amazing. Thank you, Kevin. My favorite thing about this game, it's lying. I'm 28, married two years, my beautiful that. wife Jillian. I just miss my wife. My mom, my mom's a teacher. Oh, okay. As is my wife. Jillian, I love you. Wife. Do you want to keep this until after the vote? If I decide to not put you up. It's because I trust you. Am I married? No. Oh, That's a lie, too. I'm wearing a fake ring. <laughs> we could maybe do this thing for real. Yeah, don't propose right now. I'd kill you. <laughs> OK, so she's real. So many secrets, so many lies. How many of you were like, I, I knew it? Were there any I knew it? Yeah. yeah. OK. That's okay. For sure. Well, I have a question for you. Uh, Kevin, did you know you were up against a doctor? I had no idea. I bought the marine biology <laughs> undergrad story. You bought it? Okay, okay. Speaking of uh, buying stories, Marty, could you have guessed that your fellow married, uh, you know, house guest no. was not married at all? No, I, I believed him. Yeah? You believe, would you have, I mean, he tried to give you the ring uh, as collateral. That, that, I told him, keep that. I'm not taking your rubber <laughs> ring. <laughs> your rubber ring. Josh and Kevin, it's time to announce our winner. One at a time, I'll let you know who the voter was and who they voted for. If you hear your name, that's a good thing. You need five votes to win. Good luck to you both. Canada has voted for Kevin. Yes. Wow. Herman has voted for Kevin. Yes. Moose has voted for Kevin. Yes. Gino has voted for Kevin. Yeah. One more vote. And that's a wrap. Summer has voted for 
Kevin, yes, congratulations, Kevin. Kevin. You have won season 10 of Big Brother Canada. You can both now make your way out of the house. Good job. You good? Ready? What?